Hello? Hello? Ugh. Well, well, well. Here we are. Here we are. Hello. How you guys doing? How's my audio? Can you hear my audio compared to the game? Is it good? Is it rocking? We gotta make sure it's not too loud now. Also, this wasn't the title screen I was expecting for Ruby Aerofell. I gotta be honest. This title screen music kind of bops, though. Good audio? Okay. Well, we might as well just start. So, I guess for those of you guys who don't know, I was given this game. For one, I was given this game by way forward. That was nice of them. But, uh, what? This takes place after... No, this takes place during Volume 7. This takes place during Volume 7, during, like, Episode, like, 4 or 5, you know? But, you know, when there's, like, that training montage with the Aesops? And then they just, like, breeze through, like, a 20-second training montage in Atlas? That's when this takes place. It's during that training montage. So let's see what uh, this game has to offer. Ruby Weiss Blake Yang, known as Team Ruby. These four former students of the Fallen School of Beacon have found accommodation at Atlas Academy in the northernmost continent, Solitas. I actually have no idea how to pronounce that. With honor to their achievements, it is at Atlas Academy that Team Ruby are formally inducted as licensed huntresses. Okay, maybe it doesn't take place during that, like, training montage. Meanwhile, on a summit north of the city of Mantle, soulless creatures of Destruction Grim have been detected, a threat to both critical military initiatives and life itself. A newly appointed Huntress as- No! I didn't even get to read it. I didn't even get to read it. What did it say? As newly appointed Huntresses, Team Ruby is given their first- Directive by the Academy Headmaster, General James Ironwood, General Gigachad, invest, uh, to investigate the summit, defeat all Grim encountered, and discover the course of their sudden presence. Jesus Christ. That's the plot. I thought they weren't given their Huntress licenses until, like, in, like mid- Volume 7. Right? Oh, there's no voice acting? All right, Team Ruby. <gasps> Our first mission is right here on this summit. I'm not going to voice act them. Not the most glamorous place for an assignment. Um. I guess the Aesops were too busy. Is that the, is that the plot we're going with? Oh, the Aesops. They just were too busy. Doing what? <sighs> At least we got a mission. At least we got a mission at all. What's so special about this location? Hmm. General Ironwood reported that there was a possible Grim sighting somewhere around here. Hmm. Of course, it seems he's concerned Grim this close to Amity Tower construction site could compromise the initiative. Hey, but we're licensed huntresses now, remember? Let's prove it. Wait, wait, chat, someone remind me. What? When did they get their licenses? What episode was that? Okay. It's like a dash. Attack, jump, gun. What the heck? 
What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Okay. Episode 4? Was it episode 4 that they got their licenses? Maybe it was episode 4. I could have sworn it was much later. Or I would have sworn. Sure the music doesn't get flagged? I did get an email that said uh, if, if, if the music gets flagged, it's not supposed to. <laughs> this should be original. Ooh. Wait, I have like an aura thing. Ah! Dude, we can just jam to this music. I don't even need to say anything. You guys can hear the game, right? There's no doubt about it now. The summit is a hotbed of grim activity, hmm. but it's so cold. Hmm. If we can reach the peak, we'll have the best possible vantage point. Leave it to me. I can use my semblance to speed dash over that gap. Okay. Press Y to dash. Nice. Uh... Bitch! Ah! I couldn't retreat. There's no double jump. Dude, this- this game is- feels- oh, fuck, those bats are like fucking Castlevania. Fuck! Give me that. This is like old school. It's like old school platformers. Oh great, look at that high ledge. One of my glyph platforms might do the trick. Right. I didn't expect to be able to play all four of them at once. Wait, why is there multiple pads? It's over here. Secret! Give me this. A skill point, eh? You found a skill point. Level up your team. Skill point? Huh? Oh, good lord. There's so many skill points. Who do I want to level up? Wait, what are these descriptions? The youngest member and team leader of Team Ruby, where she is joined by her half-sister Yang. Although her energetic nature can be perceived as socially awkward, Ruby means well and is a source of positive energy. She fights with determination in the name of happiness for all. Ruby is a well-balanced fighter. Wielding her scythe, her scythe slashes. Huh. Once the heiress of the Shinidas Company, she has since been estranged from this destiny. Joining Team Ruby. Her cold exterior is largely the result of her prim... Prime? Prim? Upbringing. But inside, she is driven to fight for a world of peace and inequality. A former insurgent of the White Fang Group, fighting for Faunus, writes, now a member of Team Ruby. While once withdrawn, Blake has since opened up more including to her partners in Team Ruby. She is righteous, respecting the lives of all, whether they are Faunus or not. Yang is the bullheaded problem solver of the team. She is protective. She is protective of her half-sister Ruby and her cool, good-natured exterior can snap in an instant at any threat. Yang then harness her anger and frustrations into pure strength. Fascinating. Who do I want to level up? Is there a cost? Can I? Can I? Is there a costume in this game where I can just reskin Yang to look like Raven? I can't even use my skill points. Use. Ah. 
energy heal. I don't know what that is. We'll just buff Yang. I'll play as Yang for now. This song is just on loop. Oh, you can't hide these secrets. I got an eye for these secrets. Fucking bots. Uh, use. I'll just make Yang incredibly strong right from the get-go. Eh. Aw. Wait. What if I... That is... A tragedy. Hold on. Can I not place one up here? I cannot. I was gonna... I was gonna place one and then transfer to Ruby. And then try to make it. But I guess I can. Uh. Uh. Okay. I don't know what this money is for. A dead end, or is it? Maybe my shadow clone can help here. Eh. Oh, her shadow clone does what I do. That's fascinating. But why is it so weak? It's like it's like in the actual show. She sucks. Thank God I didn't level up her. Okay. That's kind of strong. Okay, Yang doesn't have any range. Goodness. I can take a few hits though before I actually take a heart of health. That's not the worst. Just like that, we've hit a wall, literally. No problem, sis. Hitting walls is my specialty. Stand back. Smash! Wow. It's a thing. Oh. Okay, the controls, the, the controls are like tight, but they're like too tight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, there was Atlas. And we picked... Right, come here! Come here! Walk into this! Fuck. Look at Atlas. Look at Atlas. Can you believe we're gonna destroy that? We're gonna kill everyone on that. Ambush, eliminate the mysterious device. Bam! Eh. What the heck? Wow. That was astonishing. Um. What was that all about? Is it my imagination, or did the Grim stop appearing once the gadget blew up? Hey look, something's on the ground. Someone invented a Grim Pokeball. Oh. It is a Pokeball. Uh... Oh, that's the thing we just exploded. But what is it? Who knows? It looks totally busted. Hmm, hmm I think I know just the person to ask. Who? Who are you gonna ask? Let's head to Mantle. Mantle! Are you going to ask, like, Pietro or Penny? I just want to get Penny. Where are the Aesops? I need to see Harriet and Elm. I need to see them ASAP. Oh, look at this map. Pietro's Pharmacy. Look at Atlas. We destroy this. 
What are these houses? I thought it was like too cold to live. I thought like people in Mantle were dying of of uh, of heat, of dying of of hypothermia. Can you live outside of Mantle without the heating? I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen the uh, volume. <laughs> hey, you two are fucking gone. Wow, I can't believe you guys actually they have character models. Hey, Maria. I can't believe Maria's in this game. Well, if it isn't Team Ruby, who, you know, the way you all work so dutifully to protect the people of Remnant, it could bring a tear to my eye if I had any eyes. Uh -huh. Come to think of it, I'm not so sure my eyes can make tears anymore. How about that? Oh, and it's time I stop yammering. Looks like Pietro is ready to see you. Ah, Team Ruby. I forget what he sounded like. My daughter said you're full-fledged huntresses now. Congratulations. Oh, Pet. I can't. I'm not going to do Team Ruby. Penny told you, huh? About time, if you ask me. You've certainly proven your battle skills. <laughs> Well, thanks. We're ready to uphold the responsibility. Yeah, about this whole upholding the responsibility. Yo, Toby, they were the uh, tier one. Uh, now tell me, what brings you back to Mantle? We were investigating grim activity on that summit near Atlas when we found something unusual. Whoa. Is that so? Let me take a look. You gave broken scrap. Ooh. Oh, this is unusual technology indeed. Wait, uh, Could this be something valuable? Can't say ooh. for sure. I've never seen anything quite like it. If Pietro doesn't know what it is, you must have found something pretty strange. Pietro invented everything, you see. Gosh, I wonder what it's for. If we could activate it, perhaps we could find out. But it seems to be in rough shape. I could maybe reconstruct it. Tell you what, I'll hold on to this broken scrap and see if I can fix it up. While I'm doing that, if it's Grim you're looking for, there was an incident at the settlement east a ways. Oh, uh... An incident? What happened? Well now, it doesn't sound too serious, but word is, the local guardian, Russet, had a nasty run-in with Grim. The local guardian, eh? The name of the place is Essen Town. Mm. Here, I'll mark it on your map. This is canon. This is canon. This game is canon. Until they decide that it's not canon anymore. Check in with Russet. And he might be able to tell you about his recent grim encounter. On our way. Thank you, Dr. Polandina. I believe I overheard Pietro mention Russet Town over in Essen Town. Russet, Russet Town. Uh, hey, that's how normal of a sounding name that is. Uh, it sure sounds like the folks over there may have information for you. Thanks, Maria. I'm glad you're here to provide nothing. Send me all the way over here. Who are these people? My goodness. Uh, this, this girl wearing a skirt. Uh, welcome to Essen Town. It's a bit remote, but we enjoy our cozy way of life in the cold. Though if it weren't for our ice fisher friends from Dormir, we probably would starve. Oh, Toby, thank you for the 10. You watch your videos? Keep it up. Thanks, man. Uh, want to know a neat trick I learned? No matter how far you venture, you can always leave that location for another. Just open the pause menu and exit the location. Although you should know that exit location will not be available if you're trapped in an ambush. Or worse, a boss fight. Make sure you're prepared. Thank you, random guy. Who are you? Are you Russet? She's kind of bad, though. Cerise Claire. I've looked everywhere I can. It must really be gone. Oh, dear. I can't believe I've lost it. What are you looking for? 
It's my precious book. Uh, I must have dropped it in a shuffle of escaping those grim. Escaping? What happened? I came here when my home was overrun by Grimm, barely escaped with my life. There was a settlement west of here called Crossed, or Crossed. That's where I'm from, but now it's just remains. Hmm. Here, I'll show you the place on your map. Let me mark it on your map for you. Crossed Remains. Uh, I've lost all hope of ever finding my precious book. At this point, I couldn't possibly go back. Honestly, she got a pretty good character design for someone who just looks to be giving me a side quest. Uh. How do I rate this game? I haven't- I've barely started this game, so I can't really rate it. You know the famous Huntress Maria? Apparently, they used to call her the Grim Reaper. Well, she doesn't really hunt Grimm anymore, but I did hear her knowledge on them is vast. Who are you? Maria's not from Atlas. Why are you talking about Maria all of a sudden? Ah, ah what do we have here? Thrill seekers, explorers, or are you just trying to look trendy? What's with him? Hey, you're one of those traveling merchants who's always around in case we need to buy stuff. You're the smart one, aren't you? And no, she is not. Energy boost, chocolate bar, revive ring. Extra heart. My goodness. I'll be around. Thanks, Mr. Merchant Guy. In case you ever encounter a save point, make sure you save your progress. If you're defeated, you'll end up back where you last saved. Excuse me? Oh, this is Russet. I would have thought the other woman was Russet. Uh, it's been a while to see travelers here in Essen Town. Name's Russet, Guardian of Essen. S. What? Essen. You gave yourself that title, didn't you? Ah, so you're Russet. You must have heard of me then. I mean, it's no surprise, really. Local legend and all. Thornmane and I take down more than our fair share of Grim. Uh. Thornmane. Uh, yep, that's my boss, a former huntsman from Atlas. Thornmane's network of guardians, like myself, reaches far across Solitas, but my post is right here in Essen Town. And I must say, Thornmane himself can really fight off Grim too, like no one I've ever seen. Between the both of us, we've got those Grim running scared on the regular. <laughs> and Grim don't actually do that. Wow, you must, you two must make a great team. Well, to be honest, I've been off my game ever since the incident. I set one foot in Essen Cave and a saber took a bite off my backside. Now I only have one ass cheek. This place is crawling with Grim. <laughs> Essen Cave, perhaps we should take a look, old man. I'm surely you don't know who we are. We're Team Ruby. Yeah, we're gonna kill each and every one of you by the end of this game. Uh, Russet, could you tell us where the cave is? Well, I don't recommend you go there, but if you insist, it's just west. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Really, I don't insist you go there, but I'll mark everything for you, just in case. Beware the powerful Grim in that cave. Chomped clean through my favorite armor. Uh, why? What's a guardian without his rear armor? Uh. Rear armor. Yep, made only of the finest essential ore, <laughs> mind you. A new armor could be forged with two essential ore. You know, about one per cheek's worth should be enough. It is his butt cheeks. Uh. And you can stop right there. Well, if you find essential ore, bring it here. Well. Will do. Let's go check out the cave. Let's do... Uh, let me get the thing first. Let me get the diary, or the book, for that one Claire. The one Claire lady. Ah! I can't really dodge. Ah! Gosh. It's like there's like no range. There's like... I guess maybe Ruby has the range, yeah? That's not what I wanted. 
I don't like that. I don't like that bomb. It's over here. Oh, oh, is the green meter my dust? Probably don't want to hit that. What are these exploding grim? Ah, yes, you're just chilling here. Zur, are you? I can't believe I forgot it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What's up, Doc? Oh, hey, uh, not really in the chit chat mood here, unless you happen to have a pickaxe. Hmm. Hmm. Figures. Well, I left mine at home. Now all I've got is this fish. Uh, and now I'm not gonna get any work done here today. If you come across the pickaxe, give it here. Yeah, okay, will do, lady. Will do. I'll let you know if I find a pickaxe. Chill out! Bam! I'm telling you, Yang is a little OP. Fetch quest? I mean, what else is gonna be? I mean, there can only be- there's like the main story and fetch quests. That's really all this game can really offer. That's not like it's like a full-fledged RPG or nothing. Okay. It's only got so much it can do. Hey, I recognize you. You look familiar. Salutations! <laughs> Penny, what in the world are you doing here? I'm on official protector duty. Uh, sure, but why are you here? I do not know. Uh, nice. Uh, however, this is a mystery. I found this gate. I can detect an unusual magnetic field, but I cannot identify the origin. I also cannot open the gate. Why exactly would a gate be here in the middle of a ravaged settlement? I do not know. Hmm. hmm. Any clue what's on the other side of it? I do not know. Someone yeah. reboot Penny. She's broken. Uh, well, that's pretty weird. We're going to get back to our mission now. <laughs> Good luck with all that, Penny. Farewell, my friends. All right, see ya, Penny. Try not to, like, die. Try, try not to get stabbed. <laughs> These fucking bats. Get out of here. Actually, the worst thing. Ooh. Give me them. Give me them coins. I need a heart. Give me a heart. There we go. Give me that. Why is this up here? Surely this platform is only up here if there is something hidden. Dude, Weiss can't even one-shot these bats. Weiss sucks. Weiss has no jumps. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, that guy just needs to die. Ow. Come here. Come here, you stupid wolf. Dude, I'm doing... Ah. I'm, like, doing so much in this cave. I gotta find a pickaxe. I gotta find what's wrong with the, the door that Penny's just standing in front of. Why sucks just, like, in the show? Yeah, but Ice Queen them just came out. She should be hella strong. Ah. 
Oops. Maybe if I only upgrade her use. Okay, maybe I should stop upgrading Yang. Uh, increases damage from melee. At defense. Reduces damage taken. How much energy refills automatically? Ranged attacks kind of suck. I'm always just meleeing. I'm just, actually, I'm just going to upgrade. I'm going to keep upgrading Yang, but I'll play as other characters. Is Juniper in this game? So far, no. How's Blake? I'll try Blake. Decent damage. Slow attack. Oh, the Weiss's ability is balls. Oh, Blake does have a bit of range, though. That is that is not an accurate hitbox. Dude, what is the point of the Shadow Clone? Dude, they're not even looking at my Shadow Clone! Come on! Oh my goodness. These Grim are smarter than, like, half the characters in the show. Ah, yes, I need this. Wait, but if this is here... There's nothing down here. I need to go back up. I need to find a different route. Eh. Oh my goodness. Weiss's, like, ability is, like... Floor based. Ah! Okay, I need Jang to fight these guys. Shadow clones are like extra DPS. I feel like a shadow clone should be like a distraction. I did not go down here. Oh, don't tell me this is literally just where I came from. Oh, it is! I feel like the Shadow Clones' DPS is kinda- kinda sucks. Ah. Or maybe it doesn't! Oh, okay, maybe it doesn't. Okay, it's a little- it's a bit of a safe play. It's a bit of a safe ability. It's not bad, actually. That's pretty useful. Maybe it is more useful than Yang's. Yang's is dangerous, because I gotta get hit. I'm so close, I get hit. I don't know how to get up there. I can't double jump. Ow. Yeah, Yang's a brawler. Her, uh, her range sucks. I don't need that, but... I don't know if I get a double jump ability later on or what, but... That's nonsense. There's definitely an area that I cannot reach. And this is where Penny was. Huh. Maybe I just can't be in this area right now. I already went all the way to the right, and I spawned on the left. Can I use Weiss's platform glyph? It doesn't go that high. It's, like, floor dependent. Like, I can't, like, jump. Because it's not going to be placed at, like, the peak of my thing. It's only going to be, like, placed so high off the ground. So I can't really use that to reach heights. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Welcome back to this place. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. It's going S and Cave. 
because if the Guardian of Essen can't protect anything, surely Team Ruby will just casually prove that they're better. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I didn't see the bug. Skill point. Ooh. Actually, I'll upgrade Blake. Blake is kind of hella useful. Maybe Glyph and then Ruby Dash? No, it, it doesn't work because I don't have the height to reach the thing. It's not that I don't have the distance to cross the gap. I don't have the height. Like, say, like, I'm like, this is the wall. Like, like the Ruby Dash wouldn't help me because I don't have the height to get over it. That's the main problem. Come on. Come on. Try it. Walk into the... Walk into it. Come on. We have both angles, bitch. No. Stay away from me. Okay, that guy's glitched. Ah! This guy's glitched. Fuck. Holy shit, no. No, stay away from me. Blake! Shadow clone Blake, I need you to do your magic. Holy fuck, Blake is actually carrying. Holy fuck, Blake is actually carrying. I don't know who's fake! This gosh dang. Oh my goodness. Actually, I need to upgrade Blake. This stupid guy. Look at that goofball. Open this. Yeah, see, like, Weiss's ability sucks. Alright, yeah, I guess. Okay, maybe. I was doing it wrong. Because it is floor-based, so I guess maybe I was just using the wrong floor. Oh, maybe you were right about the ruby dash. Yeah, I need to go back there and try. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe I should do this and then ruby dash for the distance. I got one heart left. This is not good. I need extra hearts. There we go. I'm also not using my gun. I feel like the gun is kind of useless. Okay, let me try the ruby dash over here. Let me try it. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Blake is really good in this game. Who would have thunk it? Who would have placed their money on Blake being the best character in this game? One damage. The gun sucks. No, no. That is unreal. That sequence of events. Scared of these stupid bugs. I need this. Desperately. Oh my goodness. Oh, double heart. Let's go. Blake is top tier. I mean, compared to everyone else. Like, Ruby just has a dash. That's not very useful. Weiss is weak as hell. 
Gang ain't too bad. I'm more of a DPS kind of player. You know what I'm saying? I like to do damage. So I feel like... That is... Typical of voice. I feel like I'm more inclined to play with the damage characters. Oh, okay. Maybe I was fucking just stupid. Okay. Okay, I was stupid. My bad. My bad. I was just stupid. I apologize. I got the book! And I definitely cannot reach that one. I'm definitely not reaching that one. Didn't they say? Can I read this? A dusty and tattered book. Cerise in Essentown was looking for something like this. Uh, didn't they say I could just like exit location? Wow. I like this character. She's got a pretty cool design. I like her color scheme. Hang on. Is that Did you find it? my precious book? Here it is. <laughs> I can't believe she's dead in the show. <laughs> uh Oh, I thought I'd never see it again. What's so special about this dusty old thing anyway? <laughs> Twice. No, no. It's quite all right. It's rather old, but this book contains the handwritten records of my ancestors who fought in the Great War. Look at this game, mentioning the Great War more than the show does. Look at this lore. This game already has more fucking backstory lore about the Great War than this show is putting in. However, without this book, my tribe's stories would have been lost to the ages. To think, the very grim that led us into the dark times of these stories nearly separated this book from me. I can't thank you enough for your deed. I haven't gotten much of value, much value anymore, but here. Hey, I got a pickaxe. She's dead. I assume she's dead. Huh. I assume every character is dead pretty much. Cause what, these, these guys are outside of, of Mantle and Atlas. When that shit crashed down. What's this? This pickaxe was my only weapon when escaping the Grim that overtook our former settlement. It's safer for us here in Essentown, where a guardian, where there's a guardian on duty. I'm certain I won't be needing it. How is she not like a, a warrior? She looks pretty swaggy. She, she's even got like the, she's got like the animal ears and everything. She's fucking simp baiting. Oops. Welcome back. There's plenty to buy. I need a heart. With how often I'm getting rolled in this game. I'll buy a skill point. Oh, this game expects me to buy a lot of skill points. Uh, I mean, defense is probably good. Defense. Maybe she's just being trendy with the animal ears. She knows what's in fashion. Why am I on Weiss? I would have loved it if Weiss in this game was not terrible. I wanted to play as her. I also wish there were skins in this game, so I could just reskin Yang to look like Raven. Yeah. Ah! Unreal. Why buy hard when you just buy skill points so you don't lose health? I mean, I'm going to lose health. Because I'm going to be getting hit a lot because I suck. 
I can just increase my defense a little bit. I do like the speed in which Yang hits, though. <laughs> you and your goddamn needy pickaxe. Uh, what's that you got there? Totally looks like a pickaxe. Did you bring that for me? Yeah. I got your stupid pickaxe. Zure, ah, you. Looking like you're from the goddamn water tribe. Hand that over. Thank you. Thanks for the hookup. I didn't really want to resort to dulling my fish spear. Oh, my fishing spear. Anyhow, you guys rock. Totally made my Wait. day. Well, that's why we're here. Though, why are you here? Excavating. This quarry is said to have a naturally occurring combustion dust, and I'm here to find it. You know, while I was excavating this mine, I found some ore. I really don't need it, but you can have it. Ah, yes, thank you for the ore. Might come in handy. Thanks. Maybe, thanks. Of course, come say hi to me on the unlikely chance you ever find yourself on the outskirts of Dormir. What is this, Lord of the Rings? Uh, Dormir. I thought she said fish spear because she's holding a giant fish, and I thought she was, like, implying that she was going to use that to excavate. Were you here before? Oh, this guy. This Jean-looking clown. Hey, I got the ore! We did cleared out that cave of Grim while we were at it as well. Yeah? You, loser, unlike you. Excellent! So, are you all good now, or what? Well, to be honest, I'm not much for smithing. Do you know anyone that might be able to turn those two essential ore into armor? <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> Hold on now. I even have a blueprint. An armor schematic. Uh, don't know we got so... Uh, what? Don't know someone good with this kind of technical stuff we could take this to? Yeah. I think we do. Stupendous! I'll be here waiting. I wear a size XXL, by the way. Thank you. That's my... My butt cheek is extra, extra large. That is exactly what he is implying. Who do I know? The Aesop's Ironwood? What, am I gonna bum them for, uh... Oh, we're gonna go to Pietro. Welcome back! Oh. What do you have there? Russet wants to know if you might have be able to smith him these two essential ore into some XXL-sized based rear armor. <sighs> extra, extra large. Why, I remember when Russet was just a scrappy little guy. Anyhow, I surely have all the equipment to do it, but I've never made one f of those before, specifically. <laughs> he just gave us this. Let's take a look at the schematic. Oh, looks like this should be easy enough. And you have the materials? Hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Russet armor. Look at them butt cheeks. There you go. Perhaps I could give the famous blacksmiths of Anima a run for their money. Wow. Wow, it looks totally perfect. While I have you girls, it's about that broken scrap. What is it, Doc? This device. Ugh. It's actually... Um, this mysterious orb is definitely some kind of container. I, fi I figured it out. The mystery has been solved. You're welcome. What? What do you mean? It's not some rare, it's not something rare and valuable. Doesn't seem to be anything. There's a market for that, if I, I know of. Wait. So it's a container. A container for what exactly? Grim. How hard could it be to put two and two together? I'm not sure, but the core of it looks like it could harness some sort of energy. Huh. Here, take it with you. Hopefully, someone out there can tell you more about it. Thanks. Thank you for everything. Of course. Good luck on your journey. Uh. I wonder if that russet armor will end up fitting that russet gentleman all right. He sure does have a butt on him, doesn't he? Uh, this is the part where you make sure to deliver it to him. 
Maria, what are you doing in this game? Maria has provided nothing other than sass. Little Miss Sassafras. Where's the butt armor for Harriet? That's the real question. Ah, uh, is that shiny new armor? There you go. Indeed it is. It's a perfect fit. You girls are a force to be reckoned with. We are licensed huntsmen after all. Huntresses after all. Surely that explains everything. Not only did you retrieve the necessary ore to create this armor, but you were even able to wipe out the Grim. Huh. All right, you might be strong enough to solve our distressing development. Um. Distressing what now? It's about those Grim that have seemed to come out of nowhere lately. A gigantic one has appeared over the outpost. The threat it poses to our people is not to be taken lightly. In fact, we may be left behind with no choice but to evacuate our settlement here. I'd go take care of it myself, but you know, I'm still getting back on my feet and all. My butt is still sore. Wait. Wait, you want us to go? You just... B Listen, Weiss. You guys were just bragging about being huntresses and all. You should be able to handle it. You've proven yourself as capable huntresses. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Allow me to point out the location. What, now all of a sudden we got sass? Now all of a sudden we're like, wait a second. Why do you want us to deal with this? Good luck, girls. Yeah. Gee, thanks. Yo, what's with the sass? We were more than happy to prove ourselves when it was our ego at play. How long will the live stream be? I don't know. <laughs> So hard. Okay, what could possibly go wrong? You gotta play as Blake. The the true DPS. Now that we're huntresses, does it seem like Grim are more intimidated by us? No, I don't think that's how that works. Or is it just me? Dude, where's Elm? She'll, like, fucking just suplex this guy. Pretty sure that's just you, Ruby. Actually, Elm just suplexes this guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Wow. Come on. Come on, try it. What did I get hit by? Don't charge me. Don't you dare. What? How am I supposed to dodge that? Wow. Impeccable range. Absolutely <laughs> impeccable range. Hey, CG. Grim don't get much tougher than that. I hope not. It's the harsh weather. The Grim and Solitos have had to adapt to survive. Solitos. <sighs> well, I'm ready for a nap. It's a good thing we were here. I don't know how these people live so far from. Look out! Oh, wait. Did we just get rolled? I looked away for a second. Oh, I, I didn't know we were going to introduce Team Briar as, like, heroes. Her teammates' images were in her knives. That was... Amazing! Looks like Bianca was right about those new huntresses. Oh, great. What are they even doing here? What? Who are you? Oh, look. They talk. Hey! I told you to never come back here. Go on. Leave us alone. You've terrorized us enough. Come on, girls. We're done here.
Wow, I didn't know we were gonna introduce them as, uh... I don't know, the good guys? I don't know. What just happened? Fascinating. Uh. Your generosity in assisting Essen's indisposed guardian today is greatly appreciated, Huntresses. Ta taking on a grim like that took courage, though I must apologize for that dishonorable run-in. Bram Thornmane. Um. Don't mention it, but uh, who were those girls that went in for the coup de gras? Rogue huntresses, mercenaries, you might say. We call they call themselves Team Briar. Do they call themselves that, or were they given the name Team Briar? Because that really seems like a team name that they're given for going to like Atlas Academy. <sighs> The team offers protection to isolated settlements like Essen, for a price, that is. Well, there's no need for their services. Essen already has me, as me and my guardians, in place. Clearly, you are so on top of things. Say, mister, you're a huntsman yourself, aren't you? I am, at least. I used to be. The name's Bram Thornmane, by the way. A long time ago, I trained as an ace operative under James Ironwood. He was an Aesop. You were in the Aesops? The lore. Nearly. But it's... Oh, it's nearly. So he wasn't. But it's neither here nor there. I work to protect the people. By my own authority now. That's kind of weird that he'd say... Almost. I was almost in the Aesops. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a strange thing you got there. Huh? What? You mean this mysterious orb? We found that thing at the peak of the summit, north of Mantle. Oh, right. After that, Dr. Palandina fixed up with the mysterious orb and said that it's a container. Do you know anything about it? Goodness, I'm afraid not. Since we found it next to a Grim Attack, we're gonna turn it into General Ironwood as a clue. Uh, I, I can't recommend you do that. It could be dangerous. Are we gonna literally fucking be like, don't trust James? Dangerous? How? Uh, it very well may be military tech. Allow me to do you a favor and take it off your hands to dispose of it safely. Oh, uh... Well, yeah, oh, well, all right then, here you go. Wow, this man who we've just met. Let's trust him over Ironwood, am I right? What is this game doing? Hey guys, I was in the Aesops. Don't trust Ironwood. Give me that. I'm afraid I must be on my way now. The Briar Bunch could be making a mess out of things as we speak. <gasps> However, if you're looking for clues about unusual technology like that, there's someone I would suggest you speak to. Lieutenant Colonel Olive Harper. She reports to Atlas Academy. Hmm. You can trust her. Trust me. You can trust her. All right, we're off to Atlas Academy then. Thank you. Thanks, Thornman. I think he's the villain. I think he's a villain. Like, let me just take that. I'll take that. Thanks for taking my device. Oh, you found m my device? I'll, I'll be taking that back. I think he's a villain. Aces and wild cards. Show me the Aesops, boys. Come on. That's not the Aesops. Team. Olive Harper. Well, Team Ruby, you've certainly done the right thing by coming to see me at Bram Thornmane's recommendation. Carrying military technology with you would be a very reckless thing to do. Who knows if it could detonate? Um... Lieutenant, you wouldn't happen to know anything about where that orb came. What orb? We don't have the orb. We gave the orb away. What orb? How does she know what orb we're talking about? No. No, it sounds very unusual to me. It's probably that. If only you had it here to show me and I could tell you whether or not that's a thing. But I don't know. It's probably nothing to lose sleep over. By the sounds of it, it just sounded like a ball. We found it after just having finished fighting off an onslaught of Grim. Sounds like you made quite a scene. Uh, we like to make an entrance. Um, if it's military tech, isn't it strange that it would be there without General Ironwood's knowledge in the first place? Or why we wouldn't give it to him in, uh, afterwards? 
Tell you what, if it'll ease your mind, I'll put some feelers out and research this for you. Just follow up with me later. By then, I'm certain I'll have found a lead. I don't know if I can trust her either. Of course, anything for our brave huntresses. It'll take a bit. But in the meantime, the Aesops will soon be arriving to speak with you about your next mission. Let's go! Give me the Aesops! And I do believe that Clover... That's, and I do believe that's Clover I'm hearing out in the hall right now. Thanks! Thanks again, Harper. You better watch yourself. Hmm. She ain't no Aesop. Clover! You're not dead! <laughs> nice to see you alive. Uh, Team Ruby, your timing is impeccable. We're about to have our daily Aesop assembly. I'd love to for you to join us today. Sure. A meeting with the best around? We'd be honored. You better, this game, better keep calling them the best around. Excellent. This game has a lot of making up to do for what the show does. Uh, excellent. The other member teams are arriving momentarily. The other team members. Hey, there they are. There's Elm and Va and and Harriet. I almost said Vine. I don't really care about Vine. Ah, so that was the third. T what? So that was the third time I got banned for life from an Atlas cafeteria. Now the fourth time was the craziest because. Mm -hmm. That's enough chatter. Let's settle in, everyone. I was just getting to the good part. We have some special guests for today's assembly. Uh -oh. Hi, happy to be here. Team Ruby here has just successfully taken down a grim Goliath on their prior mission. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Nowhere near as rough as the time we had to fight a giant mech thing. Now that was the worst. Dude, look at Elm. Look at Elm's fucking muscles. Look at her fucking shoulders. God damn. God damn. Congratulations. We're glad you could join. So. Holy fuck, she's so much taller than everyone. She's so much taller than Clover. As you know, all of the Aesops will be embarking on our individually assigned solo missions. By strengthening oneself, united, we grow strong. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Precisely. However, today is a bit different. We won't be entirely on our own. Um, Team Ruby, now that you have Huntress responsibilities, I'd like the Aesops to be able to lean on you for our missions today. <laughs> Roger that. Such enthusiasm. Dude, look at how tall Elm is. I want you to see this transition from whoever we go. From Elm to whoever we go. Look at the fucking size difference. Her head is over this, like, bar. Hmm. Goodness gracious. How uh, you don't mean fresh meat. Whoa, look at Harriet. Look at that pose. Look at how happy she is. This is what I played this game for, chat. Them. Uh, are you sure? Are we sure about this? Yo, it looks, it feels like so many, it feels like a lot of like these artists were different. Um, Ironwood told us to keep an eye on them. <laughs> we're ready. Licensed Huntresses now, remember? Excellent. And now it's time for you to prove it. One more thing. Keep a positive energy out there, team. Remember, negative emotions are the very thing that attracts Grimm. Panic, sadness, and anger are no place in our missions. Stay focused and stay vigilant. You fight not for yourselves or even for the ones you love, but for all of Remnant. All right, you're dismissed. Let's make it happen. Yeah, Harriet was a lot smaller than I kind of assumed. I say assumed. I feel like Harry is just a lot smaller than I thought, than she looked. Huh? Are you wondering, are you wondering what my solo mission yes. is today? Well, I am now. I'm on administrative duty today. It doesn't sound like much, but it's just one of the leader's many responsibilities. When our efforts cause inadvertent destruction of private property and the like, the government of Atlas has to reimburse for that. That makes for a lot of paperwork. <laughs> We break stuff all the time. Who knew someone keeps track of that junk? Well, breaking things isn't all bad. Sometimes you'll find hearts and energy hidden in destructible objects. That is such a fucking bad line to give him. We're like, this like explaining gameplay. Enough of that. If you think the rest of the Aesops have just about wrapped up, come on, let me know. We're ready to go help. 
Hmm? Visitors, ah, if you'll allow me. You are currently in the main halls of Atlas Academy. If you head to the left, you'll reach the office of General Ironwood. Why was Olive chilling in his office? If you head to the right, you'll exit the academy. That's the entire academy. Thank you. It's the left, which is his office, and then there's the right, which is the exit. The Academy is currently conducting research on the phenomenon known as skill points. Sometimes when you explore an area to the fullest, uh, you'll encounter, yeah, skill points. Uh, you get experience, you can harness. Is that confusing? Well, I'm sure you'll understand if you find a skill point. That said, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Elm, take me on the mission, baby. Team Ruby, it's rare to have students of your caliber come visit the Academy. She goddamn Elm. Look at how look look at how short Yang is compared to Elm. Jesus. Licensed Huntress. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, that's right. And perhaps one day you'll reach an Aesop skill level. Elm, about that, I was wondering, have you ever heard of Team Briar? Uh this dynamic squad whose semblances perfectly complement each other? Blowing fire, swimming underground, portals that bend physical space? The type of team that could take down a Goliath in a matter of seconds? <laughs> Not you sure about that? If a team like that was around, I'm surely... They surely would be on the Aesop's radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should be on the Aesop's radar. I'm gonna be really upset if this game is like, Wow, the Aesop's, they're so incompetent. And Team Briar is like so much better than everyone. And the Aesops suck. And Team Ruby is better than the Aesops. Uh, it's just as Ruby describes. We did encounter such a team briefly, but we don't know much about them. Wow, you really did, huh? I'll take your word. I'll take you on your word. By the way, Elm, did you need help with your mission today? Oh, that was easy peasy stuff. Already done. It's only been a few minutes. Hey, goddamn right. But wow, what I would love to celebrate today's success would be a nice cold grape soda. You, nah, here's the thing. These writers are not taking into account Elm's physique. Listen, she can drink a grape soda. She's fucking, uh, she'd be looking for a protein shake is what she, she'd be looking for. A grape soda with Elm's physique? I, I think not. Hmm? If you're heading to Atlas's Main Street, would you pick me up one? <laughs> what do we look like? An Atlas catering service? It's easy to find grape soda on the main street. Here, I'll mark it on your map. A grape soda. While well, you grab me a grape soda, I'll look if there, anyone has turned of Team Briar for you. 10 gallon grape soda. Say, your huntress is that Penny told me about. You're all basically the, her best pals, right? Don't act too shocked. The nosy soldiers know it all. Penny can be a little awkward, but I have to admit, I do enjoy our occasional conversations about nothing. How do I know Penny? It's because she works here, of course. In fact, she's the first synthetic human ever to report here to Atlas Academy, or so I'm told. It's pretty impressive that Dr. Pietro Polandina built her as his daughter. And what's even more impressive is the power that she has inside. Right now, she's out on a self-imposed mission. I don't think we've seen that kind of dedication before. I wonder what she's up to. How much is this game? I think this game is like $30. Which I think might be a bit much. Atlas's main street. Am I gonna fight enemies here? Who's this guy? What is this main street? Who's this guy? This bro's just walking around the main street? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is she? What noises are you making? What the fuck? Hey, Mero! I've gotta hand it to you, girls. I gotta hand it to you. You girls being the newest thing around Atlas Academy is great news for me. Huh? And just what do you mean by that? You being newer makes me feel less new. <laughs> I can finally start to shake the... The... Os... Os... <laughs> oh, the association. Fucking, my, my brain did not process that word at all. Shake the association of being the latest addition to the team. Honestly, I've been at this for quite a while now. God, my brain just died. 
Um, gosh, I would never would have guessed you weren't as experienced as all of the others. Well, that doesn't mean I'm any less skilled. Between us, I might be the glue holding the Aesops together for some missions. Hey, shut up, Mero. Pissing me off. So you're Mr. Flawless then. <laughs> hey now, not saying that either. I make mistakes too. Like uh, today, for instance, I was sent to the Tumok ruins to collect a soil sample for my mission and I left my goggles behind. Huh. Oh, the famous ruins are somewhere near here. Yep. Yep, they sure are. It's right over here. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, I can't believe I was so careless to leave my goggles. Uh, if you stop there, say hello to Vine. Uh, he's, you know, tall and kind of scary looking. He's a real nice guy, though. He's got a heart of gold. Hmm. Anyways, mission brought him to Tumak Ruins as well. I ended up bumping into him on the way out. It's a small solitas. It's a small solitas, I suppose. Wow. Got to go to work. Don't worry, Kyrie. Thanks for stopping by. We got to we got to chat. We got to chat. It's been too long. Ah! Have a good day, though. Who are these guys? These guys are actual hooligans. Save point. <laughs> so is this Atlas's main city street? What is this? Are we killing robotic men? I don't know. I don't know who these robotic guys are. This is just supposed to be the road in Atlas's main street. Just like casually walking down the street, beating up these guys. Who's this? Why does she have a why does she have a Thompson? Who are you? Why am I beating up random men and women walking down the street? Ah! Okay, I'm leaving you behind. Actually impossible to hit. Dude, the streets of Atlas are, are fucking impossible. Dude, who is this woman? Dude, who is she? She's actually insane. She's giving me the run for my money. Holy crap, I just got it. Moosed. I find this so weird that this is a level, to be honest. Oh, I forgot White sucks. I forgot White sucks. At least she can break a box in one hit. Ah. Uh, goodness gracious, there's so many people everywhere. Let me check out what's at the bottom. Oh my goodness. this? What is this? It's probably one of the better Ruby games. Yeah, and on the scale of Ruby games, I'd probably say this is probably the best. Because there have not been a lot of good Ruby games that exist. I should just be playing as Blake this entire time.
Oh my goodness. Do I... Oh, so close. Okay. I don't think I can make that. I don't think I can make that. If I just dash, I'm definitely not going to make that. Amity Arena? I never played Amity Arena. I'm not in the mobile games. Amity Arena had a lot of characters in it, though. So I'll give it that. <laughs> eh. What if I... No. I don't know if I can make that. Maybe my skill level is just not high enough. That game died? What, Amity Arena? It got shut down. Dude. Holy, this... Amity Arena... They just, like, discontinued it. Range on Blake. Lovely. Dude, the, the quest for the grape soda. Good lord. All of this for Elm. It's worth it. So many skill points am I gonna get? Uh... Energy heal. Let's just max out Blake. She's too strong. What was Amity Arena? I think Amity Arena was also like a PvP game, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like a it was like a tower defense PvP game. Wait, I didn't get her soda. Atlas Heights. Who's this? Did you just come from the main street? Well, you've now reached the magnificent Atlas Heights. It's been a bit rough lately in the main street and downtown areas, but here in Atlas Heights, everything's a bit more elegant. Harriet! Uh, until not too long, I lived in a settlement called Crossed. When the Grim came and raised the land raw, my house was torn down too. I escaped, of course, but my entire curio collection was left behind. The best thing in my collection was none other than an ancient artifact. I wonder if it withstood the destruction. Look at Harriet bounce around. Hey, Harriet! Truly one of my top two waifus in this show. First Raven, then Harriet, then Elm. Uh, if it isn't Team Ruby, looks like you've reached Atlas Heights. I gotta say, she needs thicker thighs. Just saying. Uh, I suppose I shouldn't put it past you to catch up with me. Eventually. Oh. Harriet, it's a relief to see a familiar face. We've arrived here at Atlas's main street, and hostile forces have been deployed. I know. They're on patrol throughout the entire stretch of the Atlas main street and downtown areas. They were ready to rough, rough us up left and right. What's the big idea with them rock, walking around like that? Uh, no clue. It bears further investigation without a doubt, and that just happens to be today's mission. 
Can't we apprehend them and find out why or where they came from? My fists are ready to do all the questioning. We wouldn't want to rouse and provoke our unknown opponent at this time. Better to gather data first and only fight when necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, I'm not sure if that statement holds up. Uh, they're not a run-of-the-mill street thugs either. Didn't you observe anything out of the ordinary about them? <laughs> Yeah, now that you mention it, it's knuckle spikes, a stiletto knife, and a giant arm bat. Their weaponry was unusual and advanced. Aesops has some fresh intel that suggests a weapons furnishing operation may have taken place in the southern coast dust mine, which has since been cleared out. <clears throat> the timing is no coincidence. I'm all but certain investigating that place will yield clues. Here, let me show you where the dust mine is located real quick. Thanks, Harriet. Uh, I think you can make haste and go check it out. Thanks. Why can't I not play as Harriet? Can I just, can I just play as the Aesops in this game? They are clearly been given character models. Of course, but what should we be looking out for? Scraps of weapon tech as evidence. Any left behind would be ideal. In fact, if you could collect three weapon tech parts, we'd have enough to file a detailed report for General Ironwood. From there, we can launch an investigation into their origins. It'd be great to know exactly what we're up against. <laughs> Leave it to us, Harry. We'll go search the dust mine and help figure out what's going on with these new enemies. All right, hurry over to the dust mine. God, I love Harriet. Harriet's too good for this show. Hmm. Sorry, admiring her character model. Uh, he wants to visit the ruins. The ruins are quite beautiful and full of rich history. In fact, the tribes that lived there long ago left behind so much to see that it paints a picture of life in the remnant of our past. Unfortunately, people can't visit these days because it's overrun with Grimm. But I hear there's a conservation effort underway. Uh, welcome back. There's plenty to buy. Is there? Oh, I can buy another heart. Nice. Atlas definitely has a bustling nightlife with its opera houses, clubs, and fine dining. I'm really glad I got to see that in the show. Um, but that affluence really seems to attract all sorts of troublemaking mobsters and goons. I sure wish the Atlas government would do something about it. Yeah, they're so incompetent. Am I right? Where was I going? I didn't even get Elm Soda. How do I get Elm Soda? Did I just miss it? Oh, it was probably over that giant wall that I couldn't get over. That's probably where Elm Soda was located. That's so sad. Oh, and I need to go back there and get over the wall. Ah. These fucking guys and their weird angles. Man, I need to get Elm Soda. She's relying on me. She's relying on me, chat. What is this? What the heck is this area for? Ooh, a saber, eh? Hiya! Oh, he does not get stunned. This guy does not get stunned. It's so hard to get a grape soda in Atlas. That's what I'm saying. I just want to appease Elm. Oh, for my muscle mommy. Uh, Team Ruby, it appears as you have joined me in the Tumok Ruins. For this mission, I understand we must depend. I understand we're to depend on you for assistance. Yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever you need, just let us know. As your history lessons have no doubt taught you, Tumak Ruins is a formal remnant heritage site. That is, it's a protected location that carries with great that carries a great deal of significance to humanity. Uh nope. Totally didn't know that. 
Dating back to before the Great War, the artifacts here tell a story of Remnant as it once was. Rather, they did. It is unfortunate, but in recent times, well-meaning historians have made off with the very artifacts that called this location home for thousands of years. <sighs> oh, that's terrible. In the effort to restore the Tumac ruins to a location in which visitors may absorb its rich history, we are to recover the ancient artifacts. The problem is, they could be anywhere by now, near and far. I'm searching for three more ancient artifacts total. I'll be investigating the immediate vicinity, but if you could please remain watchful for them throughout Solitas. Sure. Artifact list. Throughout Solitas, they could be literally anywhere. Not the easiest ask, but we'll keep an eye out. A. Vine, I gotcha. I gotcha, man. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, Weiss needs to be stronger. Can I see what they are? Collect three weapon tech parts and deliver them to Harriet. Three missing artifact parts and bring them to Vine. Where's the collect the grape soda part and bring that to Elm? Dude, this fucking bat. I actually need to be Yang to fight these bats. They're so fast. Ah. I just realized, I think the green bar is my aura. And so when that goes down, I lose a heart. Yeah, I ain't fighting those guys. This is like health. Fascinating. That's the true wombo combo on those... On those boars. Uh-oh. There's no way I jumped into the bat. Like, what is that platform there for? Like, oops. Like, what is that platform? Go away. Like, what is this? What is this platform for? There's nothing there. Gosh, I'm just like, I'm just like trying to map out this place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. The monkeys. Ah! These gosh dang monkeys. Ah, no! We can kill the tiger. Nice. Oh my god, Shadow Clone Blake. So much damage! Shadow Clone Blake is so good! God. If only she ever used them like this in the actual show. Hey, I got Marrow's goggles. Does Marrow wear goggles? Marrow doesn't wear goggles. What's this game talking about? Why is everything, like, just not high enough? I'm so gosh dang short. Why are the shadows able to hurt enemies? I mean, they're physical. They're not, like, really shadows. Or it's like, it's like a, it's like a dust clone, I assume. I assume that's what this game is getting at, is that it's more of a dust clone. Than it is, like, her semblance? Actually, I could be wrong. Because it is her semblance. Shadow, by using Blake, can conjure up a wispy shadow clone. She can engage in combat. Yeah, actually, I don't know. 
course I just get hit. Of course I'm, I'm one health. Get over here, you stupid monkey. Hearts. Ooh. Takes 10 damage to kill those monkeys. in this area but it definitely does not seem to be a lot is a skill point I mean what else would it be just like 57 skill points in this game so what that was over the ledge that I couldn't reach fascinating okay I just need to max out Blake Blake is my go-to, like, defense anytime I'm on, like, an encounter. I feel like I'm missing something with all these, like, ledges that I think I can't jump over. I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Yo! This man just hit me back into the other screen. Oh. Okay, there might have been one more area that I have not explored in this part of the map. I'm just farming money. Hey, Vine! Was there another thing? I don't know if there was. Ah! That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I did not explore down here. <laughs> Holy mother of jeez Louise, man. Defense. Offense and defense. I should not have specked out Yang so early. Here I thought Yang was the most useful one because she's the fighter of the group. Penny, what the hell are you doing here? Penny, what are you doing here? I continue to carry forth my official protector duty. Uh, but we're in the middle of ruins. Don't bother reasoning, Ruby. Maybe the circuitry in her brain has rusted over. I assure you, the sealant coating my brain chips prevents 99.7% of rust. Hey, do you know that that thing is, Penny, strain what you're standing next to? Well, I've never seen anything like that before. Today. The mysterious gate harbors a magnetic field. I cannot identify the source. The gate remains closed. Huh. And a gate like this in the middle of the ruins is pretty unusual. I have accessed both my internal and networked knowledge banks and find no entry on mysterious magnetic gates. Huh. Team, we don't have time for this. The Aesops are counting on us. You're right. Forget Penny. I gotta get Elm her grape soda. Did you say peace be with you all? What are we in church? I'm gonna play as Penny. I wanted to play as Harriet and Elm. But you know what? It seems like... Wow. What a glyph. Not all of our dreams can come true. This guy just fucking stood there. He actually finessed me. Oh, I really do have to explore all over Solitas, don't I? What is this? Oh, this is another main street. Maybe Elm Soda is located here. This fucking guy, I swear to God, is AoE. On this stupid rock. How did I lose two hearts? This is bad. Never mind. 
Oh, there you are. Oh, it was the thing for this. I got your goggles, man. There you go. You went through all that trouble. Don't mention it. I think with that, my mission for the day is about wrapped up. You really helped me out of a bind. I don't have a way to show my thanks, but here. Oh, dude, and it is a people likes grapes meme. Uh, oh, I guess that was in the show, actually. Never mind. That is an actual thing in the show. Ah, uh, where was he just holding on to a grape soda? Elm wants this. I pushed the wrong button on the vending machine. Wait, oh. This seems perfectly good. What's the matter with it? Maybe you like grape soda, but I sure don't. Because dogs don't like grapes. Am I right? That's what they're going to go with this. Because that's the other meme. <laughs> I'm more of an oolong tea guy myself. I thought they were going to go with the dog hates grapes meme. Oh. But apparently they didn't. Elm, I got a soda for you. I would like a hug. Atlas Academy. I need this PNG artwork of Elm. I accidentally, whoops. I need this PNG artwork of Elm and Harriet. That's a good, that's good artwork, I tell ya. Hmm? Hey, I got grape soda. There you go. <laughs> that's the stuff. Huh, it's a little room temperature-ish, but that's all right. Did you happen to find any intel on hmm. Team Briar? Right, well, from what I can tell you, there isn't any such registered team in the Atlasian Special Operations Unit directory. In fact, the name isn't found in any Huntsman's database at all, which means they may very well be unlicensed mercenaries. Hmm. That seems to check out with what we heard. So mysterious. Well, thanks for checking. Let us know if you hear anything else and enjoy your soda. Is that it? Keep training and you'll be able to keep up with the Aesops. Speaking of which, my partners might still need your help. What's this one olive woman doing? She's actually just chilling here. Fascinating. Fascinating. Zoom out. Ooh. Fight the dust mine, of course. I should have bought in like a heart container or something. What the fuck is this thing? Ew, get away from me. What the hell is that? Okay. Blake is not the best for those. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage they take. Bum bum. <laughs> My goodness. Weiss's ability is so, like, awkward to use. Let's just max out Blake. Blake is way too useful in this game. To not. goodness. Oh, I just realized, like, each... Does each team member have, like, their own health bar? Okay. Uh, he, he lives. He gets to live another day. I gave up. Let it be known. I, I stopped trying because I wanted to. And damage. Oh my god. 
That's actually so much. No! Not the monkeys! Oh, it's a one hit on the monkeys, though. I forget they attack the real me. Man. Come on. Come on. Try it. So easy. Ah, yes. The puzzle. These aren't exactly puzzles. Ah, an ancient artifact. That's one of three. Let's go. Is that it? Is that all I came here for? Was there any other locations I did not explore? I felt like I took a pretty direct route. Ow. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Where I came from? I think it is. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure if I explored down here though. I definitely did not. There's no shot I got hit by that. On a scale of 1 to 10, would I give this game? I don't know. I haven't beaten it yet. I can't rate a game if I haven't beaten it. It's all right. It's like, exp I mean, it's like expanding the world and stuff. There's, I mean, there's like, there is a story. But at the same time, like a little bit of one. But it's not like a story-based game, which I would really like. You know, it's like, like this game, there's no shot. This game is going to like actually try to like pull off like character development or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, as much as I would love if this game, like, expanded and, like, explored the Aesops, it's not gonna. Like, they're just kind of here. As is, like, most characters that we're coming across. The grape, the great grape soda lore. Yeah, we learned that Elm likes grape soda. We learned that. That's a thing we learned. I'll add that to my personal... To my personal list of knowledge. Very important. These bats have the worst... light direction. It's like a Metroidvania? Yeah, this game's like a Metroidvania. But like, eh, I don't know if it is. Metroidvanias usually imply that like, you unlock abilities and then from those, you use those abilities to backtrack. But you just have all the abilities from the get-go in this game. So it's not really like a Metroidvania in that sense. Come down here. If you dare. They dared! Holy. F These flying guys are really giving me a run for my money. They're really putting in the work. They need to be out of here.
you'd love a Ruby game to be done by Bandai Namco. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I, I, I'm more of a fan of, like, story-based. I got weapon tech. I need three of those, don't I? I'm more of a fan of, like, story-based, uh... Games. And, like, it does have a story. But, like, story in the sense of, like... Like, story is the main focus. Those are usually my, uh, cup of teas. If I upgrade... I can't really upgrade my semblance. Range attacks, energy, melee, and defense. Yeah, I can't, like, upgrade my semblance or nothing. Like new tales, not like new tales from the Borderlands. Listen, if Telltale made like a Ruby based story game, yeah, I'd be pretty down for that. But Bandai does it, it like, I mean, if it was like a Tales of game, like Tales of game is drastically different. Like, I'd take a Tales of game. 100%. I feel like I've explored this location. Can you do glyph on top of glyph? You cannot. You can only place one glyph down at a time. Oh, there's still stuff here I haven't found. What? They're collectibles? The collectibles seem to be more just skill points. So you can level up your characters. So like, those aren't really collectibles. But those seem to be the main thing that you like, find. Yeah, I was just down here. What am I missing? What's the plot? We're trying to find out Team Briar. But the plot hap in this game happens so slowly because I have to, like, find the three things. Huh, it's not here. I have to constantly find the three things and, like, explore these areas just so I can get the three whatever objects are needed to advance the plot. A Tales of Team Stark would be sick. Yeah, that would be pretty dope. But like literally any, I'll pick literally anything, Team Star. Give me a comic. Give me a manga. Give me a show. You know? Oh, I I did go up here. Did I not go down here? Correct the mundo. I did not go down here. down here. No shot. Ah! What the 
hell is this tiger doing? That was a mistake. This game has no map in level? I don't think so. Yeah, I, th I think this game uh, wants you to just like memorize the layout. And use your memory. I don't know if that's for the better, but... I mean, it doesn't necessarily bother me. That's <laughs> two weapon tech. I assume that there's three. The three weapon tech and the one ancient scroll. Or the one ancient thing. Any of these small guys. I am not having any of these little monkey things. Oh, goodness me. These guys need to get out of the air. All they do is fly upwards. Get him out of here. <coughs> I can make a blade clone then switch. Can I? Oh, I can. That is pretty OP. What do you think of a Team Stark prequel game like Final Fantasy Crisis Core? I don't know if a game is the best layout for a Team Stark prequel, though. Like, I do feel like, uh... I got three things. I think that should be it. I feel like, uh, like a show or like a manga is better because like a game has to consider like gameplay and like gameplay design and how it implements a story as opposed to just like a show where it's like it just has to focus on story harriet nice to see you i feel like they made harriet a lot smaller in this game she needs to be thicker in some areas <laughs> so you got three weapon tech <laughs> Yeah, we headed over to the dust mine you mentioned to search for them, Ugh. and took you long enough. All right, let me get a closer look. Gimme. Fantastic. This is just what we need. With these, we'll be able to write up that report right away and begin a thorough analysis. Gee, do they already look... Gee, they really do look high-tech, don't they? G. Well, G golly. I didn't know Harriet was a G user. Um, well, I guess we'll find out more soon. In the meantime, thanks for the help. Sure. We were pleased to assist. Though I have to admit, I would have been a lot quicker about it. Uh, say what now? We're out here helping your other Aesop partners today, too. Cool off, Red. I didn't mean to get you all worked up. It's just that. I see some room for improvement. It's your semblance. My semblance? Yep, the way you dash around, I couldn't help. To think how much further you could go if you posed a little more aerodynamic light. Here, let me demonstrate how it works for me. Show me! For fuck's sake! Show me an animation! I knew there had to have been some sort of upgrade I could get on my semblances. See, that's all there is to it. They could have animated Harriet just like dashing. Oh, uh. How about that? I really can be faster. I guess I owe you an apology. No, no, everyone says I need to be more patient. It's time I take that to heart. Really? Ugh. Nope. Chop, chop. There's much to do. Ruby semblance. Pedal burst has been enhanced. Ruby can now speed dash further than before. Okay, so this game is a bit like a Metroidvania. 
What was that you said earlier? You were helping other Aesops? Well, don't let me keep you off like the wind. They wouldn't make an animation for a character sprite, but it, like they have like actual animation that they use for the show in this game. So they, they have her character model. Why do I need to be here? Did I just come from the left or the right? Okay. I guess I'm working my way left. That is a hell of a dash now. Normal girl with normal knees. Achievement unlocked. Holy crap, her damage is trash. Probably because I haven't upgraded it. I don't know what I'm... There was a check mark here. Oh, the, the thing. This thing. Okay. Maybe no jump. Maybe just dash. Gotcha. How would I rate this game so far? Uh, I mean, it's not bad. I, I, I don't know. I'd probably give it like a fairly average rating. Like... I don't know. What's an average rating? I need to see how the story plays out. I need to see how long the story is, what it does. See how it plays out. Like, there are no collectibles in this game. Like, I would always break those boxes, but I know those boxes contain nothing. So there's no need for me to break the boxes. It's just gonna be coins, or a heart, or health. Like, those aren't too important. Yeah, it's just health. Stop. Stop hitting me! The OST? Yeah, the OST has been, been good. It was very video game-like. The first level had that song. Had that one song. I don't know if that's the only song. I imagine there was like another one, right? You imagine that has to be like one for like the final boss fight or something. That's like not the same one that they just did. Oh goodness, I don't know which way to go. I got left and right. I imagine I cannot break this. I imagine that's probably this is probably a Yang upgrade. Upgrade that with Yang. Break that box. Break the metal boxes. See ya. There's also, like, no XP for killing no one. Can I just, like, phase through enemies? I can, without taking damage. <laughs> what are all these guys doing here? These ledges are just like just out of reach. Yeah, the game's a bit simple. That's a good way to say it. That's not incorrect. The game is pretty simple. This fucking lady.
Dude, why does my bullets use... Like, my bullets eat up my health. That is not cool. Dude, look at how easy it is to play Blake. <laughs> like, I don't aggro any enemies. I can place them exactly, like, under them. That's actually OP. Blake is so OP. He's actually blocked me. <laughs> An ancient artifact. That's pretty much everything. Yeah, I went through the area, went down, and then just like went left. Ah, one more ancient artifact to be found. I don't know what I was expecting from this game. I think, like, objectively, I would have wanted... Or personally, not objectively. I'd have wanted more of a, uh... uh, uh, uh I don't know, more of a story? Because like, I feel like this game is very, uh... Or it's very gameplay driven, you know what I'm saying? Where they were just like, let's just make like a game that you can play that has Team Ruby skins. And it wasn't like too much of a concern to like deal with a story. That could be wrong. But it's not like the Aesops in this game, right? Like, I I would hope, or I was slightly hoping that, like, the Aesops would have a little bit better... I don't know, character? You know? More time- more- more time to show off their character in, like, a positive light, because the main show didn't really do that. But, I mean, they're kind of, they, it kind of seems like they're just like, we don't know anything about what's happening. Help us on this mission, you know? And they're, they're just there to say, go do this mission for me. That's what they're here to do. They're just like, help, uh, help me on this mission. Yeah, I have nothing to provide. Go get me a soda. Like, literally. Literally. Just like, go get me a soda. And it's like, damn. They're like, really? That's it? And th that's probably all they're going to do. That's probably all Elm is going to do this entire game. Like, if I'm being honest, that's all Elm is going to do in this entire game. Her entire role was just, go get me a soda. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I feel like the game isn't like, isn't gonna like all of a sudden be like, here's a lot of character development for Elm, you know? I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. Can't break that. There's another Yang thing I can't break. Gosh dang bugs. Yeah. 
lot of fetch quests. I mean, that's what kind of, I assume, like, that's kind of what these games are. Like, I've played, like, a bit of, like, one, like, one Shantae game. I don't know if that's what those games are always like, but it's kind of like that. Like, I get it. Act as teachers, get more character, get more time to show off like their character and stuff like that in like a in like a positive light. You know, make up for what the show like didn't do. Like didn't have time to do or just chose not to do. You know, but instead it's just like here are these characters that you recognize. Isn't that cool? Like, the best thing that's gonna come out of this for the Aesops is that there's, like, a more artwork of them. That's literally the positive thing about the Aesops being in this game. That might be the only positive thing that comes out of this game, is that the Aesops have artwork. Have, like, a, like one more artwork of them. Never thought I'd become a PNG tuber. I wanted a VTuber model, but that takes a while. That'd take a while to get done. Hey, I got all the artifacts. Who's your favorite character in Genshin? I don't really play Genshin. I mean, I did for a while, but like, I didn't really pay attention to like the lore of the characters in that or nothing. I got all three things. Let me just go to Vine. Yeah, I mean, Metroidvanias are usually really fun gameplay-wise. And, like, there's usually, like, an, like, a, like, a deep layer of, like, lore when it comes to Metroidvanias. Like, Metroid, Hollow Knight. You know, there's, like, a lot of lore there. And, like, sort of world-building put into... Put into the, uh... Everything. But I don't know, or I can't really tell how much this game does it. Because this game does have it. There's like, oh, here's this ancient ruin from before the Great War. Like, there are things in this game that I guess are pretty standard for a Metroidvania-esque title. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't either easy either. These things have a way of getting around. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful to behold, aren't they? Oh, this one tells the story of the origins of Remnant's Moon. Go on. You sure those aren't just squiggles and patterns? Wow, the brush strokes on this are stunning piece depict the advent of dust for mankind. Uh... I actually think that might be cat hair. Amazing, this etching down the middle represents the brotherly feud between the light and darkness gods. Um... Isn't that cracked there because Ruby dropped it? Uh, I'll see that these are housed and preserved safely. Are they just making jokes? Because everything you said seemed to be a thing. That's like, uh, those are things that are a light and dark god, whether or not the characters are aware of it. One day when the heritage exhibit of Tumak Ruins can be opened to the public, these will surely be a star attraction. Yeah, I'm sure that... Ex exhibition is gonna go great. Atlas, I'm sure, is really gonna thrive as a kingdom. I got a gut feeling about that one. Atlas, it's gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Someone needs to Photoshop Harriet with thicker legs. Uh, I guess that's it for today's missions. Yeah, you enjoy your soda. The Aesops were so fortunate to have the assistance of such an adept team of huntresses today. I think he means us. 
With today's solo missions complete, we have an, been able to compile a wealth of important data. Analyzing these findings, it's become clear that there is an, an unusual threat. Uh... Unusual? What's unusual about it? Well, we are entirely in the dark about the motives. As you've no doubt been briefed before, the Mobile Communications Tower project, Amity Tower, is under construction not far from Atlas. It's a great priority for General Ironwood if this is some orchestrated attack. Or if this is some orchestrated attack of the proceedings of that initiative, we'll need to act swiftly. What we do know is the Southern Dust Mine was briefly used as a facility to both train and arm League, a League of Mercenaries. Mercenaries that now patrol the streets of Atlas, armed with cutting edge at Legion military technology. Military technology? Where have we heard that before? Right. So the weapons used, use the sort of technology that would come from Atlas. We may not know why, but who? Who could even get their hands on military technology and carry out such an operation? Is it the mercenaries? The mercenaries who we just said, who we've encountered? And just he just said that mercenaries were trained? Is it the mercenaries? Team Briar? Maybe it was your dad. I'll have you know that I had to get the parts for my Mirt Nester all by myself. He'll be the last to arm anyone with costly weapons. Actually, we've stopped our search for the culprit. As luck would have it, a promising lead was found by none other than Lieutenant Harper. <laughs> All right, sounds like we're getting somewhere. Who do we have to pummel? Funny you should mention, I believe you're assigned to carry out the next course of action in our qual counter operation. However, it is now in the hands of the Lieutenant. Why? She should be in the General's office now, so I'd like to, I'd like to encourage you to speak with her. In the meantime, the Aesops will regroup and prepare for our next missions. Good work out there today. What next missions? What are they doing? What are the Aesops doing? The Aesops are like, okay, this seems like a pretty big thing. Maybe the Aesops should deal with it. Who's this person? The Aesops should be the one who are like, okay, like, here we go. You know, we'll, we'll trust you on this mission. Team Ruby, just who I wanted to see. You successfully assisted the Aesops today, or so I've heard. Yep, we're ready for whatever else you've got, Lieutenant. Well, for starters, it's about the orb you wanted me to look into. We found several more of them. We still don't know their purpose, but as Thornmane's eye, keen eyes suspected, we are indeed looking at sophisticated military tech with dangerous potential. It's reasonable to believe that it's all tied together with the advanced military technology discovered in the weaponry of those street goons. Mm. But where did it all come from? Of that, we remain uncertain. While Clover may believe it to be Aerofell technology, she said the thing. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty wild supposition. What? What the heck's an Aerofell? Oh, you don't know? Fort Aerofell was a classified research facility run by the Atlas military to develop highly experimental weapons. Except, as General Ironwood can attest to, Aerofell became defunct years ago, and it was so securely sealed up that nobody could possibly enter. That is, until today. Aerofell nonsense aside, someone has been able to get their hands on things they shouldn't, and Aerofell has been breached! Can you believe it? Uh, we think we have a lead on the powerful figure responsible. Weiss is dad. <gasps> what? No. We believe Amancio Glass is behind it all. Acquiring technology to outfit mercenaries for his own gain. Likely some kind of power play we are yet to fully understand. What? Wait, the Amancio Glass? Who's that? He's an, an Atlas elite, mobster type. He has figures in all sorts of shady business. Speaking of my father, even he won't b do business with Amancio Glass. That's, and that's saying something. Our intelligence has been able to pinpoint the location Glass may be operating out of. Amancio Glass, what, he's an Atlas? Oh, he's fucking dead. Uh, Team Ruby, this will be dangerous. Amancio's armed goons will be out in full force, but the mission stands. I'd like you to confront Mr. Glass directly and get answers of from all of this, about all of this. 
That's incredibly foolish. Where licensed Huntress is now, we'll never carelessly rush into. Let's go. Let's go. This dialogue feels like it should be in a cutscene. I feel like a lot of dialogue should be in a cutscene, to be honest. Let me buy some stuff real quick. Half the energy meter. Extra heart, extra heart never hurt. Skill point, skill points never hurt. Get all, get another skill point. Get another one. And now I'm out. That's all I need. Those are the permanent upgrades. Um, I feel like Weiss's defense really sucks. Probably upgrade Ruby a little bit. Ah. Uh, Weiss needs to be stronger. Probably budget reasons? Yeah, yeah, I, I imagine they didn't have voice acting for budget reasons. But still, it would it would have been nice. It would have been nice if uh there was voice acting, you know? Like, even the Aesops didn't say anything. I imagine the Aesops were the same voice actors. But they just made like grunt noises. I wonder if they were brought back or if that was just like they just had like some people who kind of sounded like them make make like the grunt noises because they, they they don't talk. And surely it's easier to imitate like a grunt as opposed to I don't know. As opposed to like actual dial or Team Briar was introduced. And what else would a mobster look like? You, you're a Moncio Glass, a Blake who just uh, casually knows what he looks like. You're all, s and you're the so-called huntresses who've been sniffing around my operation. Why, you're nothing but a bunch of children. Even Ironwood's Aesops know better to intrude in my affairs. Dude, I hate this game. Why is it making the Aesops look so stupid? What do you mean, Ironwood and the Aesops know better to- He's a fucking- He runs the military. He runs the military. What do you mean he knows better? You've been dealing in experimental military technology and we want answers, not in... <laughs> and we want answers on exactly what you're up to. Is that? Is that one of the Shnee daughters I see? Girl, you'd better run back to your daddy. You do not want to get mixed up in this. Too late. We're here, together, to get some answers, one way or the other. <laughs> Do you mean you say you wish to battle? Ha! Don't you know who I am, what I'm capable of? I mean, no, not really. Bad stuff, I assume. Cutscene? Never mind. Let's finish this. Oh, right this was in the trailer. Yeah, Ironwood and the Aesops really don't mess with him. Well, this is awkward. So, should we go after him? He's dead. That kid is dead. I want you to know that that kid is dead. In the show. In modern day. Huh? Probably. Amancio Glass. <laughs> nope. Go on, man. Uh oh. Bro! 
This is the only enemy in this game that targets the clones. Wow. This is what the Aesops are afraid of. The Aesops. The Aesops, General Ironwood, Penny, Winter. They don't deal with this guy. This guy? This guy, a real threat. I'm like, Jesus. Enough, stop! Now you've gone and completely demolished the glass cannon, Mark II. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just promise you'll leave here. Tell us everything about the orbs right now, mister. Orbs? Is there an orb? You want to get wrecked again? No, please wait. I'll remember what you mean now. Those things are used as bait. Bait for Grim. The, the contents inside attract them from all around. What? Impossible. Everyone knows only negative emotions can attract Grim. Why are you putting in those things? What are you putting in those things? Me? Nothing. I'm just a pawn in the pipeline, you what? see. Pipeline? Well, who would want to attract Grim anyway? My sources are anonymous. Clients who operate under code names. Even if I wanted to tell you, I don't know exactly where it comes from or who it goes to. If they've got the cash, my connections move the units, understand? And then my loyal crew takes to the streets and makes sure the job gets done swiftly. Yeah. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'm not satisfied, but I'm also too tired of talking to you. That'll do. For now. If we need more answers, you better believe we'll be back. <laughs> Eep. <laughs> wow. The Aesops don't mess with him. General Ironwood? Hey, these characters got character models. Uh, our newest huntresses. Thank you for coming. Lieutenant Colonel Harper was just filling me in on what you discovered in Atlas. We believe Amancio Glass has an accomplice in the military who is supplying Atlesian weaponry to his operation. What about the orbs? Are those from Arrowfell, like you said? We don't know where those came from yet. But we know what they do and how they do it. Team, you've met Branthorn Mame. Of course. We met in Essen. We know the orbs can attract Grimm. Hmm. Do you know how they work? Dr. Polandina said he thinks the orbs are containers. For emotions. Raw emotions that draw Grimm. That doesn't make sense. But that's not possible. That doesn't make sense. For one man, it is possible. Amancio Glass? No. Glass is just a distributor. Unless it's a semblance. Stone, Mantle's most celebrated union leader. How does he do it? It's his semblance. Yeah. He can extract pure emotion, and these orbs can contain it. Which means that... Five Stone is using the orbs to incite Grimm. It could be his plan to instigate an attack on Amity Tower. We can't let that happen. Go to Mantle, find Five Stone, and stop him. We'll check it out. Don't worry, sir. I feel like they, these should just be like the Aesops. Hmm. Uh, Mantle is quite the city compared to Essen. It's sprawling and densely packed with citizens. That's right. Five stone can't be tracked down so easily there. And if I may say so outright, unlike Atlas, the conditions there are unfortunate, really. But you can't really avoid the rough spots and consider the search thorough, can you? You'll just have to do your best. Hmm. A place to start might be the Mantle city streets. Allow me to show you. Mantle City Streets. Right. Dude, I swear, if, if this game was written like the show, we're gonna go there, and then we're gonna sympathize with Mantle and be like, you know what? Atlas are the bad guys. That's If, if this was the show, that's what would happen. Do you have anything else to say? No. Ironwood? So. While I was away, it sounded like he took over... Took well to your first missions. I'm pleased to know I can rely on my new, newest huntresses so readily. But the responsibilities have only just begun. If Amity Tower Project is truly at risk, there will be many battles ahead. It's been a long time, but of course it was my expertise by 
which Ironwood summoned me back. That said, my purpose still lies in defending the common people of Solithos. Are the Aesop still here? And the Aesops are just gone. They're probably gone from the game forever. Wow. So how high of rank is Harper? She's a lieutenant. Is lieutenant like just on is lieutenant like just under general? Who the hell is this lady? I mean, in reality, I don't really need to fight these guys. The only reason I fight them is for the money. If I'm not damaged, there's no reason for me to fight them. What the? Yeah! That was a lot of damage. I'll go right. It's usually a dead end to the right. Oh, the Blake thing. Uh. What? Oh, Blake probably has an upgrade. If Blake has an upgrade where I can place two shadow clones, that's actually, it's over. This game is over. I think Colonel is between Lieutenant and General. Who's Colonel? Do we know who the Atlas Colonel is? Is it Clover? Clover's not a Colonel. It could be. I don't know if I can make it over that. I cannot make it over that. She said she was Lieutenant Colonel? So what, is she like very high ranked? Because I'd have thought, you know, the Aesops were, isn't this just where I came from? I'm already lost. I'm like barely paying attention to this map compared to the others. Here. Right. I did not go down. Ah! <laughs> Interesting. Well, I wonder what like her rank like fully is. These flying enemies are the worst. Because I, I would have thought Clover was just the highest. Oh, Penny's just here again in front of this thing. It's Mantle. She lives here. Fish protector, even at home, unravel the mystery. Uh, it's classified what she's doing. Mystery, so you don't even know what you're doing. She has no idea, but check out this gate. It's the third unusual gate she's found. It's another one of these things. Strong magnetic field. Wait. What do you know? I know many things. My internal knowledge bank is vast and updated daily. In what topic may I enlighten you? Huh? Making a mockery of me? Okay. Oh. Just learning a whole lot. <laughs> Protector of Mantle. Yeah. Penny can't stop that mob boss. I guess that's an atlas, but... 
Penny's just standing around. Staring at that, staring at this magnetic block. <laughs> I'm not fighting this guy. These flying enemies are actually the worst. Holy crap, these big guys though. Actually different. Actually built different, these guys. Oh. This game takes place during the week where Ruby and Juniper worked in Atlas? Yeah. It was like during their like training thing in like episode four or five one of those two somewhere around there i think i think that's when it take place if they have their uh if they have their uh huntress licenses at that point then yeah around then yakisoba Just more hearts. Ever notice how merchants in different places have different things? It's true. Not only that, but some items where they were sold out. That's it. Luckily, there's other merchants that have what you need. For instance, if you buy a skill point from one... Yeah, there's another one waiting somewhere else. Uh, The story of Hanlon Fifestone is, tr is a true inspiration. Do you know he worked his way up to Atlas enlisting as a soldier? A soldier to fight for the people. Coming from his roots here in Mantle, Mr. Fifestone saw firsthand the imbalance in wealth and imbalance in wealth the corruption the greed and sought to make a difference he gets a bad rap with that lesion folk for deserting military duty to become a union leader but he's got a point if you ask me mantle deserves equality hey i know this guy i recognize this guy why does he have pink eyes crow doesn't have pink eyes Crow has red eyes, doesn't he? He has like a crimson eye. Raven has red eyes. Does Crow have pink eyes? Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I don't remember. Crow's not one of my top characters. So I ain't be, I ain't be looking at him the same way I'd be looking at Elm and Harriet. Uh, well, well, look who made it all the way to this side of Mantle. Crow, weren't you supposed to be an Atlas? Yeah, about that. A bickering match with your sister is enough to make... Anyone want to skip town? Winter? You saw Winter? Mm -hmm. Sure did. She was heading into the academy. To tell you the truth, I made off with Winter's saber just to tick her off. <laughs> but I'm tired of carrying it around. Winter's saber. Wow. Just have. Just, I just just nicked her weapon. You can give it back to her if you feel like it. I honestly don't care. If she's at Atlas, we must have just missed her. Ah, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Besides, you've got your hands full with this Fife Stone business. Wait. Uncle Crow, you've been doing that thing where you follow us around in bird form again? Can't a concerned uncle keep a watchful eagle eye out? <laughs> That's not even the right species of bird. What do you know about the whereabouts of Hanlon Fife Stone? It's a big, dangerous city. You're not going to find him just wandering around. Not to mention, a guy that high profile doesn't really benefit making his whereabouts too known. Thankfully, my stealth and thinking ahead are about to make your lives so much easier. Surveillance drones. Five of them. Five of them. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> the moment I got a word about this guy, I set them up. Uh... Crater caverns. Oh, so he set up. I don't need to find five. A network of various underground tunnels below Mantle. My father's company used to mine for them, mine them for dust, until there wasn't any left to mine. Yes, and the way this guy moves from place to place, I have no doubt he's traveling underground. I'll show you exactly where I left them. I feel like she would have noticed. I'm sure she did notice her sword was missing. 
I think the joke is he just he just took it. It's not that she didn't know, is that huh? he took it before she knew, and now she knows and is upset and is angry. You say you planted five surveillance drones? Why did you only mark three on the map? With everything going on, I forgot where I planted the last two. Brilliant! Find them. No, I do have to find the five surveillance drones. Thanks, Crow. Mika Dolem. It's the one, it's the volume nine rat. Hey, cat ears. Excuse me? Wow. You're a faunus like me. Oh yes, it would appear so. Is there something I can help you with? It's just that you're not afraid to be out and about. Uh, What's to be afraid of? Oh. You haven't heard? I guess it's not been publicized the way it should. Typical. The faunus disappearances. Faunus like us are suddenly going missing around Mantle. Nobody knows why. That's terrible. We have a duty to protect. Wow, you mean to say you're all huntresses and you? You're a faunus and a huntress? Double wow. <laughs> Looks like someone's fan club has a new president. I'm not strong. Not the way you all are. Honestly, if you can think of a clever way to hide my faunus traits, I'd appreciate it. I don't know, a hat? A beanie? I feel like a beanie would solve her problems. I understand what you mean. Once upon a time, I wore a little black bow to hide my ears. I stood in plain sight. Nobody was um. any the wiser. Uh, I could swear I held on to one of them. Where did I put that thing? That would do the trick for sure. If you happen to find something like that during your missions... Actually, what is your mission anyway? You're allowed to say. Or is it all top secret stuff? We're looking for Hamlin. The self-proclaimed spokesman of Mantle. Yeah, you don't want to find guys like him looking here. Or you won't find guys like him. We'd have a crowd riled up cheering folks in the streets he gave, if he gave one of his For the People speeches here. Could you imagine the traffic jam? His broadcast from Mosit Grotto yesterday looked like a madhouse. Wait. Hey, we saw him yesterday. Uh, Yeah, he's probably not there now. If you want to check it out, you can get to that place. Mosset Grotto. By the way of road. Goodness gracious. Uh, thanks. We'll go check the area. My pleasure. That seems to be if it was a ghost town on a regular day. Doubt if anyone lives there. Well, by all means, see if you can find clues. Good luck with your mission and stay safe. Especially you, cat ears. Have I seen Arcane? Yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty good. He's going to create a future. Those at lesions that assume the worst in him just don't get it. You look like Winter Schnee. Only you can't be her. She's in Atlas Academy and never comes to visit Mantle. In fact, we've only ever seen her in government broadcasts. <laughs> was that dialogue specific? Oh, it was just a coincidence that was on Weiss <laughs> as a character. Should I go return Winter's sword? Yeah, let me give Winter her sword back. She probably needs this. Oops. Winter, I've got your sword. Ah, my sister and her fancy cohorts. I may be fancy, but I'm not a cohort. What's a cohort? I would have thought that you were out and about with your new huntress's role, huntress roles, taking, hold on, everything cool. Is that my... Okay, maybe she didn't notice her saber was gone. Give that back right now. <laughs> that sister's for you. Always borrowing each other's stuff without asking. What are you talking about, Crow? I mean, what are you talking about, Yang? What are you inciting? Yang, you know where we got that. It was Crow who took this, wasn't it? Well, I'm not saying it wasn't Crow. Grr. Oh, hey, shouldn't we be getting back to our mission now? Halt. Come forth. Yes, Winter? My dear sister, I've watched you. You've grown, but not quite enough. <sighs> Just exactly what's that supposed to mean? You are careless and inefficient with your dust usage. Do you expect to carry out Huntress duties representing the Schnee family like that? Uh, what am I meant to do different? Don't just criticize me and give me some 
Give me some actional feedback. Feedback. Upgrade me. Upgrade me. Yo, Messiah. Thank you for the five. Mr. Glass is Humpty Dumpty. He sure was kind of useless, to be honest. I can create a second glyph platform. Nice. Okay, I gotta help her with something. Of course, there was a motive involved. All right, what task do you want to offload? The Schneedust Company is under contract to make preparations at a potential new mine site. She's been designated to oversee it. However, I wouldn't consider it an olive branch between our father and General Ironwood or anything. The contract was in place since quite a while back. The site shouldn't be too difficult to find. It's located about here. Holy side missions. What kind of preparations? Uh, I need some grim, something of a grim nest. Nothing your team can't handle, but they'll need it cleared out. Hmm. Uh, we collect, oh my goodness. Uh, while you're at it, we will need to collect the dust sample from the deepest accessible cavern for confirmation of viability. The mine's no good if the dust is poor quality. I'd hate to see, I'd hate to think that the Shinee Dust Company invested in a wasted effort. When you've tried that dust sample, please bring it here. I can create two glyphs. Let's go. Wow, that's very useful. Actually, actually useful. Oh, where do we go first? The new Schnee mine. Let's help Winter out. No! Give me my second thing! Oh my goodness. Oh, Blake doesn't have her upgrade. Never mind. I guess I need to advance a bit more. Does anyone know how many chapters are in this game? Four? Four chapters? What am I? Am I, am I on the third chapter? Four chapters. Ah, stupid monkeys. What if? Can I do this? Wow! Oh, it doesn't last very long. That's pretty good. Four or five. I feel like... I don't know. I, I don't know. Do you guys think this game has more of a story than Grim Eclipse? I feel like the, the level of story is kind of the same, like... In terms of, like, how much. It's kind of just, like, a fairly simple... You know... Like, there is a story, there is a, like, a villain. But it's not very, like, ambitious in, like, what it wants to, like, do. You know? It's not, like, really trying to, like, develop the characters. It's just, like, here's a villain and just, like, a random thing that they... Random thing that the characters were pretty much just dealing with at the time.
these gosh dang flying enemies. Who's, who's like the character to deal with the flying enemies? I guess Weiss. Ah! Am I buying the new Pokemon game? Nah, I'm not really into Pokemon. what I'm even looking for in this cave. I really have no reason to be fighting these guys. It's just like natural habit that I just like fight every single enemy I come into contact with. Excuse me? Oh, I have a skill point. He's Ruby. Ruby would probably be good to upgrade now, because she just maneuvers through the map. How are there three? Oh, because I need Blake's upgrade. Good lord. I accepted all these side quests that I, like, can't do. Oh, I must be- I must just be in the wrong area. I accepted so many side quests that now I just, I can't do all this stuff. I need to do Crow's mission. <laughs> I do not like that robot. Ruby, because I'm running into a lot of people. I wonder how fast. I wonder how fast you could speedrun this game. If you just know where everything is. Ow. I don't even know who this lady is. She's absolutely dominating me. Oh my god, they all are. Holy... Dun 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 dun! Is this really the surveillance camera? It's a pretty short level. Wow. That was hella short. I gotta get Blake's upgrade within this time. Come on, come on. Oof. Stay open. Ah! Man, I'm sad the Aesop's role is already over. They- they came and they did nothing. <laughs> they came, they did nothing other than say that they were- other than this game saying that they were useless. And they refused to fight a fat mobster who has absolutely no presence whatsoever. That was it. That's what happened. That's what they did. I was like, yay, finally more like Aesop, you know, content, characters. They're finally, they're finally gonna, they have a time to shine. Ow. Dude, this fucking panther. Old. Almost. 
That strategy almost works. Holy cannoli. Okay, okay, I'm struggling a bit. Actually, I'm not. Considering I just buy a lot of hearts, I'm actually not struggling. Mm -hmm. Bam. Okay, drone two of two, two five. Burn three of five. I don't know where I get Blake's upgrade. Where would I get Blake's upgrade? Oh, the cat. What did the what did that lady want? What did the Faunus want? She wanted a bow. Oh, I need to find a bow. She definitely gives me Blake's upgrade. Oh, I gotta find it now. Okay, where would I find if I was a bow? The Schnee Mine or Mossit Grotto? Probably Mossit Grotto, yeah? Because I believe I advanced a bit into this level. But I, I, I just, I left because I reached a dead end. But I believe there were other routes I could have taken. Ow. Go this way? Holy crap. It's not the best showing. Just running forth. Yeah, it was this way. I reached a dead- this is where I reached a dead end. Okay. So I just gotta go the other way. These fucking bats. These developers knew exactly what they were, putting these bats. Right where they were. I didn't go down here. Ah, yes, just random man. Moss Bear Bay. Well, hello there, young ladies. Welcome to Mosset Town. I'm- uh, this is a town? I'm your humble mayor, Moss Mayor Moss. Let me show you around our lovely little villa. First, we'll check out the Duck Rock. It's our local duck-shaped rock. No shenanigans. It was shaped that way the day I found it. Then onto our natural spring. That's where old Moss takes his mayoral baths. Oh, then there's the... Sorry to interrupt your mayordom, but this doesn't look like much of a town. That's because it's not a town, and he's not a mayor. It's just a smelly old cave listed on the map as Mossit Grotto. Grotto, what a reductive misnomer, misnomer for our wonderful little villa. He's insane. I'll have you know, folks come here far and wide to visit the enchanting Mossit Town. Huh. Yeah, he's kind of insane. Why, just the other day, we had four lovely young ladies visit our quaint town. Tourism is boring. Huh. He's talking about us. No, he's talking about Team Briar. He's talking about Team Briar, you idiots. What do you mean, just the other day? Name another town that sees a 400% population boost in one day. You can't. These kind of numbers are only possible in a magical place like Mosset Town. Grotto. Listen, Mayor, we're here looking for a guy named Hamlin Fifestone. Apparently he was here yesterday with a crowd of people. New news cameras, the works. You couldn't have missed a thing like that, right? <sighs> well, sure, I didn't see anything like that. It might be because I wasn't here at all yesterday. But if you're looking for someone that may be visiting... Maybe they're visiting Duck Rock. That's where everyone would want to go. <sighs> where were you? What kind of mayor isn't around? So you admit he's a mayor. Oh. Oh. I was out all day looking for my Ghosh Hawk. Actually, do you think you could keep an eye out for her? 
A what shock? It's our town bird. Beautiful plumage, incredible wingspan, and most amazing dusting of blue and gold upon its feathers. We've only got one go shock. Ghost hawk? And of last week, I can't find her. I'm getting so worried and not just because of the dip in population. You want us to find your duck? Go shock. You'll know her when you see her. Only in Mossetown would you find a bird like her. Only Tumak or Tumak ruins, since those were where I found her first. Yeah. Right, but we're looking for this guy, Fifestone. Orphan she was, my precious ghost shock. Discovered her fallen from her nest as a wee chickling. No mother anywhere to be seen. I like this guy. I actually like this guy. <laughs> He's not going to stop, is he? He's just delivering lore. I used to love ta taking my ghost shock to Tumak Ruins, her favorite place to visit. Oh, I sure wonder where in the world she could be now. Mare, we really don't have time for this. Your story is so sad. We'll find your precious go shock mare. Well, so this is a thing we're doing now, huh? You better give us some info. I like this. I like this guy. <laughs> oh, he's just delivering lore. This man has given us more lore and backstory on his own character. Would you believe it if I told you that is one of the most developed backstories we've gotten in all of Ruby? Surely you would believe me. Because it's true. All right, have a good night, Crito. Ga Gazhawk. Is is that Gazhawk? Is that a thing? I tell you what, I ain't never heard of no Gazhawk. Oh, I need some hearts. I'll take that. Where could a precious gas hawk be? Ooh, ooh, this Beowulf. Hmm, I don't remember any area of this cave that I did not explore. That's not to say it does not exist. I just do not remember. A short O sound? A short O. Gauzhawk? Yeah, this game is, is canon to the main series. I don't remember which area. It's canon, but it's 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 just like a small side thing, I guess. Gauze hawk. I've already forgotten how to pronounce it. Did I say gauze hawk? Goes hawk. Ah, yes. Thank goodness. Is his bird in a chest? Why is his bird in a chest? The guy got a goes hawk. Gauze hawk. Wonderful. Just sitting in a chest. Ghost without the T H. Go goes hawk. A ghost. Ghost without the H. The H is silent in ghost. It's not ghost. Whatever. I'm about to turn this bird in. They always say it's canon. Yeah, they say it's canon. And unless every character that shows up in this game dies in this game, 
It's not cannon. Welcome back. Have you four been enjoying the town's many? My Gozark. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, we found your bird. My precious baby, how I've missed you. Wherever did you find her? At those Tumak ruins you kept going on about. Well, I'll be. I had never dawned on me to check there. Can I have it back now? There you go. Oh, my wonderful little Gozark. How I've missed you. I'll never let you out of my sight again. 20 Lien says he loses her again before we leave. And since one good deed deserves another. You know where Fife Stone is? Even better. I'll give you the surveillance drone. Nice. Oh, thanks. Uh, did it come with a gift receipt? Where'd you get this, Mr. Mayor? Um, From some strange man as a birthday gift. Only it wasn't my birthday, and I have no idea what it is. This was definitely from Uncle Crow. Mm -mm. Not a crow, a gozhawk. Unless you meant our duck-shaped rock, also not a crow. <sighs> Let's leave this place for while we're still able. Enjoy your gozhawk. Thank you for locating my gozhawk. She's more than just a bird and a friend. She's Mosset Town's mascot. <laughs> mascot. Yang, please don't encourage him. Oh, I like that. Mascot. Mind if I use it? I like the Moss Mare. Moss Mare is honestly my favorite character so far. New character. He's my favorite new character. I don't have Blake's me Blake's thing. Ugh. I don't know where to get Blake's upgrade. Where the heck would I get Blake's upgrade? I don't have your thing. I don't know how to find it. Bro, where's my bow? Once you've checked out Crater Cabins, Mantle City, where else? Is it Crater Caverns in what? Mantle City? Mantle City? This place? Mantle City East? I'm not gonna explore all of Mantle City. Can you dash through the thing before the rocks close? No, because two things need to be on the platform. Right, like two Blakes need to be on this. And if not, oh, well, maybe, hold on. Okay, maybe I am just stupid. My brain does not click on these puzzles. Okay, I am stupid, you are right. I thought I needed two shadow clones to stand on both of those things. Oops. My bad. That was my bad. Because I thought the other door on the other side was going to close. <laughs> This lady is so fast. This lady just charges at me. Ah, 
don't know how to deal with them. Other than just to do that. God, some of these puzzles just don't click with me. I don't even know if it's like a puzzle thing. They're like kind of puzzles. Give everything to Ruby now. Shooting me! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know how you beat this game without Blake. This game would probably be significantly harder if I chose to play as like anyone else. <laughs> If I tried playing as Weiss, yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Goodness gracious, look, look at all these four... How many collectible? Four, eight, twelve. Twelve? I don't know, someone do the math. How many, how many things is that? Too many. Actually, Blake needs to upgrade. Sixty-four? Sixty-four collectibles. Wow. Can you believe that? That's how many- that's how many things you need to find in this game. Like, there are no collectibles. There's no, like, item that's gonna give you, like, pieces of lore. Uh... It looks like you were successful in following my orders. Hope the new mine wasn't too much trouble. Mind if I look at the dust sample? There you go. I can tell you right away, our father won't be happy about this. This dust is full of inert spec and specs and imperfections. Well, Atlas Academy has carried our out our end of the deal, so that's that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I meant to say, this was discovered in Atlas's Lost and Found. Does it belong to the Faunus Girl? Atlas's Lost and Found. We just collect things that we find. It's like a school. Or like a small business. I have a name, you know. It's Blake, but thanks for this. Yes, right. Well, I'm rather busy. Bye now. Ironwood's office. The only collectibles appear to be skill points with regular breakable stuff, giving hearts and coins. Yeah. But like, I'm talking about like collectibles, like there's no like diary of like, oh, this is like some lore on like Harriet or something, you know? <gasps> what have you got there? That must be the black bow you mentioned. There you go. I feel like she'd look better with a beanie. There you go. I love it. Not only would this hide my ears perfectly, but it's, I'd look stylish in the process. You can keep it if you'd like, uh, but is it really what you want to hide your true self out of fear? Oh. Out of fear? This isn't like a, this is, th Blake, this isn't like a, uh, like a metaphorical fear. The Faunus are actually getting kidnapped. They're like actually being targeted and kidnapped. This isn't like a metaphorical thing right now. Uh, well, I know, of course, that strength is in numbers and matters, but I am proud to be a Faunus. 
Okay, I've decided not to wear the bow. Living a life of fear is not what I'm about. Oh, Blake, you're going to get this woman literally kidnapped and killed. But I will keep this as a token. It's a reminder to have pride in who I am. I stand boldly as a faunus. <laughs> it's that very same faunus pride that's my secret to getting the most out of my semblance, you know? When you focus on being proud of who you are, it's amazing what you can do. Uh, why not give it a try yourself? Channel your dignity and execute your semblance once and then again. <gasps> Go Faunus Power. Look at you. What was her semblance? Duplicate? I can really get the most out of my semblance through your technique. I owe you my gratitude. Just like you had my back, I've got yours. Faunus Pride. I can summon an additional shadow clone. It's over. It's game over. That's game over. I can't believe... They introduced that character and said there's some faunus are disappearing like they're being kidnapped and then blake's result was to say nah don't do that don't don't wear a beanie faunus power month yeah what month do you think is faunus pride month or faunus celebration month Faunus month. What month do you think that is? Faunus power month. Ah! They broke the game with Blake? They just gave Blake the ability to like tr triple her power. That's what they did. Blake just has the ability to like triple her power. Blake's power output is literally unmatched. Ah. Dude, like, she covers so many angles. She just has, like, every angle covered. How much damage does this do? Not very much. And it just eats my health. The gun is so bad. Losing a heart is so dramatic. Yeah, it's pretty over the top. You'd think that's like losing a life, but it's just like losing a heart. Oh, I got the camera. Really? That was it? These locations are literally just padding out the game. They're just like, here, go get the camera. Oh, I remember this. I did encounter this area and I was like, oh, I need Blake for this. I don't remember where it was. It was like towards the bottom or something. Or like over here to the right. Oh, I don't remember where it was. Oh, it was here. Perfect. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Unstoppable. 
Yang is only useful for fighting those boars. down here for fuck's sake you're the worst enemy to fight bloop bloop what was the point of that did this game just troll me i just broke like a like a like a thing Holy crap. This game really expects me to be like max power level. With everyone. I'm losing hearts. I got I got three hearts left. That's not the best. This fucking woman has all the angles. Give me a heart. Oh. This guy also has a lot of angles. It's actually slightly more confusing having two clones. Nice, ooh. Yeah, I don't know if this game is worth $30. I do think it's probably worth more, like, along the lines of, like, $15 to $20. $30? That's, like, half the price of, like, a AAA title. I don't know about that. Do you have anything... Oh, I can buy skill points. I didn't know I didn't max out all the skill points. Wow. What's with the human enemies? They work for uh the mobster. Or they're like they're like mercenaries. So they work for like a different organization. Or something like that. <laughs> Alright, now we're cooking. You've got five things. There you go. Cool, looks like that's all of them. This is gonna take a bit. But I've got no doubt we'll get some answers. Hang tight. <laughs> this went better than I imagined. This is too good. What, did the guy finish? Did you find the guy we're looking for? Not only did I find Fifestone, but I'm pretty sure I've managed to pinpoint the location he's operating out of. Here, have a look yourself. The Mantle Industrial Center. So far, I will say, every single boss fight has been the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm waiting for one that's not. I'd say that inconspicuous warehouse is a pretty good place to be if you had something to hide just as we expected. My intuition tells me Five Stone's not going down easy, kiddo. So let me pass along a little advice, just in case I'm right. Back in my Team Stark days, all of our biggest victories were that, were those that had multiple team members contributing. More backstory on Team Stark than we've ever gotten in the show. If you fight, if you gotta fight, don't just rely on one of you to be able to be the heavy hitter, got it? Nah, I don't think that's true. I don't think you know what Blake can do. Use your semblances in tandem and you'll be wiping the floor with Fife Stone in no time. Also, why don't you help me, Crow? 
I'm counting on you girls to come out of there safely if anything were to happen. Uncle Crow, <sighs> hey, look. Would you look at that? It's time to get moving. Thanks, Crow. I don't know why he's not helping, but... Is there a difficulty spike mid-game? Not really. There's just like areas you can't access. And if like you, if you literally have not been upgrading your character's attack, yeah, it might get a little hard. I think the game assumes that you've been upgrading your character's uh, physical capabilities. It's not like too impossibly, impossibly hard or nothing. Blake? Yeah, yeah, team. Blake, Blake, and Blake. And maybe Yang. <laughs> I already got four team members. And I don't need more. Dude, that giant robot has a massive hitbox. Hmm. Save. <laughs> Cutscene! You think I'm blind to your failures, girl? Let's see how well you can work if you are the one who is blind. Yeah, look, here's all the faunas that are getting kidnapped. Holy fuck, he's a face sucker. Okay, those are just her, like, emotions. Thank you. Your fear has been useful. That is a Pokeball. But now you've served your purpose. That is a Pokeball. Are you okay? He's gone. Not gone enough. Not gone enough. I guess we're going after him. <laughs> what kind of line is that? Who wrote that? <laughs> He's gone. Not gone enough. What do you want to murder him, Blake? What the fuck? Hanlon Fifestone, don't take another step. You're not going anywhere, you jerk. How could you do that to that poor girl? Turn around and walk away, all of you. Forget you ever found me. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, yeah? Well, we're making it about something to do with us. Oh, yeah, that, that Ruby can apply that to literally everything in the show. Yeah, we're making it something to do with us. Wait, uh, Did I say that right? Sure. You're fine. You know what your semblance is? We know what your semblance is, Fifestone. You're sealing raw fear from innocent people. I thought he was just taking emotion. I don't know it was fear. Oh, that poor girl. And using it to fuel the orbs. Fine, I've been patient up until now. But that patience is at an end. Allow me to show you girls what raw fear really is. Hanlon Fifestone. Dude, I keep running into the top of his hand. I'm trying to jump over him.
Okay. I mean, what did what was Crow saying about this like teamwork thing? Ow. That was my bad. I got greedy and I wanted to place a shadow clone down there. What was Crow saying about this teamwork thing? What teamwork? I didn't see anything so where I needed to use their semblances. Raw emotion from innocent workers? The very people you're supposed to be helping? I had no choice. You are blind to the machinery at work here. There was a time I used my semblance for the good of Mantle, to reduce tensions between our classes, between the rich in Atlas and the rest of us. This is not what I wanted. What comes next is entirely your fault. Um... What was that? Oh, we saw the remote. What was that remote he just used? I saw it. We phys Blake physically saw this remote. And what? We were just like, what was that? That was weird. I bet he was turning on a TV. Wait, that's not very villainous. Um. Whatever he did, it can't be good. Oh, uh. Okay, hmm, problem's not the TV then. Let's go back to Atlas Academy. We'll fill in Ironwood about this. I told you. I told you. We're, once we find him, he's go we're gonna give this, like, angle that Ironwood's the bad guy. This game is, is going on the Ironwood's a bad guy angle as well. Um. After that, Fifestone said is not what he wanted, but what do you mean by that? Ah. Uh. I appreciate the debriefing on your Fifestone encounter, Team Ruby. The information you provided was instrumental in healing those affected by his semblance. However, we'll need to shift our focus right now, as there's been an emergency. If this is about the cooking shortage in the break room, I can explain everything. The truth is, Weiss did it. Hey, cookies are your thing. I sure didn't eat them all. It's a wide-scale Grim attack. Someone or something has unleashed a slew of Grim throughout Solitas. Uh Hold on, this may have to do with Fifestone, have more to do with Fifestone than you think. While being apprehended, he managed to use a remote to trigger something. Then it's likely the remote Fifestone used triggered the release of numerous hidden orbs. In turn, attracting those Grim. Huh? Orbs? What exactly are they? That information is a bit hazy, although based in on the reports of Grim activity, we believe there are a total of four hidden orbs. Begin with Dormir Village. According to the Aesop's intelligence, uh, that area is most overrun by Grimm. I'll have it marked on your map. Dormir Village, west. Once you've located the first orb in Dormir Village, destroy it. From there, you'll need to locate the rest for yourselves. You don't have any more specific info? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those orbs could be yeah. anywhere. Unfortunately, not at this time. You'll need to look over your map to revisit old locations you've traveled to previously. Uh, I mean, I imagine there where Penny was standing. Maybe? Perhaps by then, the scout sent out by Aesop should have some updated information. What? The scout? Uh, you may wish to speak with them if you encounter them. <sighs> We're on a wild orb chase. I would have gone with orb hunt, like egg hunt, since they're both roundish. Well, well, well. Maybe this is the final chapter? It's possible. How long has this been going? It's like three and a half hours? Well then. You stay back there. Ah, he came down here. Oh, is this an apathy? That's not an apathy. Is it an apathy? It's big like one. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. 
I don't understand what the point of that is. That's an apathy, wasn't it? It kind of looks- it kind of looks like one, but also like at the same time, like not really. Like it's close. Goomba stomp that Grim for a second. Uh, let's check out what's over to the right. Ah, save point. This is good, because uh, there's really not many save points. What the fuck is this? Is this a griffin? No, it flies! Why does everything in this game fly? <laughs> Fuck it now. <laughs> everything in this game is a goddamn flying enemy. Bam! I'm sure one of these days that thing is gonna unveil something. Let's just make everyone strong. Weiss is the only one who's not maxed out in strength. That's not good. What the heck was that? That was it? What am I tracking down? Huntress, please help us. Dormy Village was attacked. It's been so... F I've been so... F I've never been so frightened in my life. And word is, there's not... It's not the only place that's under attack. We've also happened and crossed. It's the second time they've been hit. More like cursed, if you ask me. Good thing everyone evacuated that place last Grim Attack. Don't let Dormy Village be the same. Wow, that's some fancy gear you've got there. Reminds me of those high-tech Gihan stations trains they've got now. They sure lo I'd sure love to ride one one day. Be careful. Right, I'm, a try I'm finding the orbs. That's what I was doing. Be careful, girls. The Grim are attacking everywhere. I knew they were aggressive beasts, but this is something else. We narrowly escaped with our lives when Dormir Village was overrun. I didn't even have a chance to collect my hidden skill point from the cave near our home. Wow, thanks for telling me that that's there. Like everyone else, we barely managed to escape Dormir Village in one piece. It will be sad st to start over, but at least we're all safe. I hope our friends, enduring the attack in Mantle, were as fortunate as we were. Hey, it's her. Fish lady. Look who it is. I remember you from Crossed Remains. Glad you're safe. There are a lot of Grim out and about, so be careful. No worries. I'm tough. Thanks again for finding the axe for me. The pickaxe. Uh, the first combustion dust I mined went straight to my sister. S sigh. She was thrilled to have it. I assume this is Sai? Hello. Sai Ayu. Hello there, my name is Sai. I believe you met my sister, Zur. <laughs> Azur? Um, we found an axe for her. Uh, we're apparently pretty good at finding things. Since you helped us out, allow me to return the favor. Take some of the combustion dust. It's the purest grade of form there is. That's a rather uncommon dust. Anyone would be lucky to mine it in such pure form. I've heard it being used as fuel for machinery, but in what capacity do you use it? It really packs a punch, believe me. Harness it right, and any physical activity will feel the boost. What? Whether you're throwing a fishing spear or throwing a jab, 
Oh, this is Yang's upgrade. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Burn uh -huh. plus. This is a stronger, uh -huh. like, raw attack. Not stronger than Blake's, probably. I don't know about that. You should probably be able to destroy metal blocks with ease now. Right, the metal blocks. I have encountered quite a few of those. I do not have any money. You know that Dormir's ice fishers supply fish to every region in Solitas? It's true, pretty essential. We even supply to all the hard to reach places. Fascinating. Let's go to Crossed Remains. Sure. I don't remember where this... I assume it was a metal block. Yeah? I feel like I already went this way. I mean, I definitely went this way. I feel like I've backtracked here before. But I think this was for, like, Weiss's thing. Was there a Yang thing that I was supposed to do? Let me check down here. No shot, this bug. Is there, like, a Yang block? No, because this was just, like, uh... What was over here? This was just, uh, a thing. This is a very non-important thing. This is just a chest. Uh, so... Must be up here. And by up here, I mean other up here. Uh, nothing. Goodness, I really don't remember where anything was. Ah, here it is. Maybe this game would be a little bit better if it had like a, it had like a slight map. I think there's no harm in adding a map. Oh, make sure Weiss is strong. That, like, barrel up there is just for money. It's just a large portion of money. I want to see how much damage this does. Ah! 18! That's not good. <laughs> Compared to my Blake 30. 30 per hit on Blake? Yeah. Good one, game. Ooh, the fighting flying bugs sure is annoying. Get down here. Oh, I can actually fucking... I can actually, like... Oh, actually, I can't do that, because I use my aura. I forget that. I forget my gun just eats up my health. For literally no reason.
dude. Just 30 damage. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Whoa. We barely survived that one. Only three more to go. But we barely survived that one. We'll take a nice long vacation after this mission. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah, we're fucking we're going we'll go to a tropical island. A nice tropical island. Gun taking health? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like look at the top left. Look at my green health bar. It doesn't make any sense. Why? Why does it do that? No way that spike hit me. like that health. I'm not fighting that guy. This is baby's first Metroidvania. I mean, uh, whatchamacallit, Way Forward makes other games like this. Isn't the Shantae series? Met Shantae series is a Metroidvania. They've made them before. Or are you talking about Ruby? Well, can't get on that side. Will it outright kill you? No, it just prevents you from firing your gun. Hey, we found the fourth block. It's brought me to many locations. This is the next one for your grand mission. I've been compelled to uncover these gates. Has any of that make sense? Is it time for Dr. Polandina to run a virus scan on you? I will know soon. In Dormier Town, that's an odd place for something like that to show up. Indeed. You ever find out what's on the other side of them? Not yet, but I'm still investigating. My fingers are crossed that we'll find out eventually. I hope so. Be safe on your adventures. How do I get... Oh, 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 I'm... What a silly goose I am. Sorry, I, I, I don't need to rely on any characters other than Blake in this game. So when I, when I do... I'm, I'm baffled. Here we go again. Here we go again. Hi, <laughs> bro. Like, come on. Two down, two to go. If villains like Fife so knew how hard it was cleaning up their mess, maybe they would reconsider. <laughs> We can all be better people. The negative energy from those orbs is more powerful than any of us expected. At least these grims seem to be fleeing the area now. I want to play as Elm and Harriet. I can't really justify $30 for this. This is not $30. This is not a $30 game. I'll tell you that right now. It's not $30. Giant metal guy. <laughs> like it's it's like a it's like a it's like a good game. But that's like thirty dollars is like half the price of like a is like a triple A game, you know. 
Like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to knock the game and be like, this game is, is, this game is terrible. Like, it's fine. Like, it's kind of what you would expect from a game like this, you know? It didn't, like, over-promise to be something that it wasn't or, or nothing. It's kind of exactly what you would expect. While at the same time... Like, it doesn't do anything too special, though. That's the thing. I mean, like, I would say that this game... I mean, I, I I was never in Amity Arena. But, like, for Ruby games, it's definitely better than, like, Grim Eclipse. Which is, like, I would say the other only real comparable Ruby game. Like, this is one of those games where it's like, it could be fun to, like, run through multiple times, try and get all the achievements in. Like, it has a story. Um. One more to go. Hmm. $30 and they couldn't even get Harriet's thighs to scale with the shows. Yeah, kind of a misfire on that one game. This game kind of misfired on that one. Elm? Elm looking good. Elm looking better than ever, right? I mean, like, you look at Clover. Clover is fucking jacked in this game. And they, like, size down. Like, Elm and Clover, they just, like, jacked in this game. But, like, they, like, downscaled Harriet so much. That's unfortunate. They actually nerfed Harriet for this game. And for that reason alone, I can't recommend it. Hate to say it, but, uh... Nice small but nice detail. Yeah, the, the artwork is good. Yeah, I don't know why costumes are not in this game. I would love a Yang costume that looks like Raven. And then I would main Yang, despite how powerful... Blake is? If I could look like Raven? Yeah, I'd play Yang. Yeah. 24-7, in fact. I would give this game a 10 out of 10. Now, which way? This way. Excuse me. Uh, do do heal. I should I should really upgrade Ruby's gun. That was my bad. I've actually been intending to upgrade my gun so I can shoot things. 
so I can shoot these gosh dang flying enemies. These ones, in particular. Lorenzo. Here it is, the last Pokeball. I'm sure this one's gonna be much harder than all the others. So easy. It's so easy with Blake. Blake is so strong. Four orbs destroyed. Yep, that makes four. We did it, Go Team Ruby! Hold the celebration. We need to get back to General Ironwood without delay. Ah. Excellent work again, team. All four orbs appear to have been destroyed, and any remaining Grim have vacated the areas. Was there any ever doubt ever any doubt? Maybe a little. I meant from Ironwood, sis. Regrettably, Lieutenant Harper has just received intel on yet another urgent threat. We're not catching a break, are we? Lieutenant, if you will. Team. Team Ruby, a new transmission from one of our intelligence brigades indicates that from that the true threat responsible for the orbs was not Fifestone. It didn't seem that way after what he said. Who was Fifestone working for then? We do not know their exact identity, but what we do know is that they have set up a secret base in the barren tundra to the east. The quickest way to reach the location is by train. Therefore, we are sending a battalion of Atlesian forces by train to investigate, and we would like you to accompany them. Let's have you get to the Gehen Station, Team Ruby. From there, take the train Harper has set to the location of interest and find out what's been going on. If there's a threat, I trust you'll deal with it. Consider it done. Gehen Station. Uh, that's where you can find the train that's ready to disembark. We'll take you to your next location. All right, a nice relaxing ride. That's riding in style for once. <laughs> Let's hope there's room left in first in the first class car. And not a bunch of enemies waiting to attack us. Ugh. Why do you always jinx things? I didn't, but if I did, then I'd like to also say jinx that... Also jinx that one of the train cars is full of soft bunnies. Enough. We're counting on you. Good luck. Officer Harper. You guys ever think... Did you, did you guys think at one point during this game so far when seeing Officer Harper that maybe that should have just been CL? <laughs> Maybe that should have just been CL. Or someone. Or just like the Aesops. Florette Ocher. Wow, she really has a very different design. You must be the Huntresses here to board the caravan. There's dangers at the coast, and what's and that's the quickest way here. Danger? I'm the receptionist for the caravan, but uh. <laughs> Sorry about all that. Yeah, we're the Huntresses. Not at all. The fare for you and the Atlesian soldiers have all been covered by the Academy, so we're good to go. That is, we'll leave as soon as you're ready to board. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Very well, please step on board, and good luck with that danger stuff. Wow, I thought she had a character design for a different reason. What happened to the relaxing train ride? Why? Why? Don't worry, Atlas has me covered. That's why we're gonna kill you on this train. 
Why? Why? Bro, actually, why? What, are you trying to imply that the, the, uh, the Atlas military is corrupt? I really should be ducking under this stuff. Um. What's the big idea? This is too weird. The Atlesian soldiers got all aggressive and are attacking us. Uh, Something's not right. No time to stop and ponder. There's more up ahead. Yeah, it certainly is weird that we're being attacked by Atlas soldiers. <laughs> These are robots. Like, some of them were human, but like, some of these, like, the ones that we're fighting, like, these are human. So, what? These guys are just corrupt. But the others are robots. How's that even possible? Oh wow, that guy, the guy with the hammer arm, he's very not useful in this area. Do I have any more commentary on what's happening? Oh my goodness. Evidently, I do not have more commentary. More commentary? I would love commentary on why I'm being attacked. Who are these people? Ah! That's one. Step on that platform. I dare you. Come on. Oh. I thought he opened the door. these soldiers are attacking. Ow. Out of my way, bucko. I am? 
literally the most OP character. Ow. I'm not getting any time to heal. Oh my goodness. I might actually die. Boom. No! Jesus Christ, thank you. No! No! I tried to switch! Fuck. Took so long. Do I have health items? I don't. I did not buy any health items. I've not bought any health items. I can. <laughs> that was just unfortunate. That's just a terribly designed area. Oh. It's so much. Actually, my first death. Man. To be fair, I did have a little... Uh, I was worried for a little bit. Because I thought it was going to reset me at the last time I, I, like, saved at, like, a save point. Holy crap. Well, fortunately, it sent me before the area, which is good. That is a good thing. Are there clone duration enhancements? No. It's just like the, 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 the natural upgrade. So Blake just gets to place two clones. That's just about as far as that goes. I don't know how to fight these girls. Girls that like jump in the air, they're like so awkward to fight. No shot, I just got fucking sniped. That Atlas guy just sniped me. Two hearts down. If I die again, then I'm gonna have to buy uh, health upgrades or health items. But I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of just been spamming my way through this game. It's not been the hardest thing ever. Or I could just buy another heart. That's what I could do. I now have the money to buy an extra heart. Dude, this fucking girl! I can't. She has like fucking every angle covered. Unironically, literally every single angle. God. She's impossible. fight them. I, if I fight them, I run the risk of just getting hit by them and losing more health than when I started. Like that. Oh, 
hard. Thank God. Okay. Oh, this wasn't even the area. Preemptively fighting them. Or placing them. No! Okay. It's fine. I recovered some hearts. Though. In the process. I also need to duck more. I can duck under these gunshots. Okay. Was this the hard one? This was a bit of a hard one. Problem dealt with. Dude, see? Look, look Blake is the perfect three stack for that. No! Nah. I can't let this woman run free. Fuck, I got shot. I saw the bullet and I didn't duck in time. No, okay, this is, this is the dangerous part again where I'm just like, no health. Okay. We're back in the game. Okay, I thought that was going to be a lot tougher than it was. I was a little nervous there. No! I thought I was Ruby. Holy crap. Dude, these platforms are so small. <laughs> I can't run the risk of just, like, standing on it with them. Okay. There's gotta be a misunderstanding here. Can't we just talk this out? More incoming. There's no end to this attack, is there? Give me some lore. The music is so quiet. Harper is corrupt, eh? Uh, guys? That's a very quick assumption. That's a very just a quick assumption to make. Those other hundreds, did you see them? Those mercenaries from Essen. What were they called? Now I'm starting to forget. Briar Patch or Briar Bunch. Team Briar. That's not as catchy. Are you sure it was them, Weiss? Positive, although I'm not sure what they're doing here. Be careful, we might be in for an ambush. Soldier is running around like a doofus. Right. 
I don't know if I like this song. This song is not as catchy as, like, the one that started the game. But we must be rounding out towards the end of the game because of the music. Because of the music that has lyrics. Goodness gracious. What's this song called? I don't know. I think it's original. I think this game has like a few original songs with like lyrics and stuff. I think there's like two original songs. I, if I had to guess. It just, it doesn't vibe with me. I'm not vibing with it, you know? This guard needs to stop chasing me. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe that song. I mean, uh, the credits might tell the OST. There's a Casey song, that one with the weird auto-tune from way earlier, and this weird one. There was one with auto-tune? I don't remember that one. I don't remember what the second one was. We didn't come this far. <gasps> we didn't come this far. Hmm. I don't know. This one feels a lot more like poppy. What's up with this life? This feels like a, like a jazz. This feels like something you'd see on like a stage play. We didn't come this far. It's the background of the briar. Oh, I wasn't. I don't think I was paying attention when to the music when they showed up. Accidental perfect placement. Team Briar's theme? Yeah, so Casey must have a theme, Team Briar must have a theme, and whatever the hell this final song is. <laughs> we didn't come this far. Oh, I thought he was gonna start singing it again. Get 
wreck. Come on. Oh, oh my goodness. Yang is definitely not... He's a bit of a difficult character. with these ambushes. Actually, I don't mind my little monkeys because they give me hearts. And I kind of need them. shot by that guy twice. I actually should have ended this with full... full HP. Boss fight! Boss fight! Boss fight! <laughs> Team Briar! There you are. <laughs> Bianca Prisma. Hello, ladies. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we've already met. Team Ruby, at your service. <laughs> Right, Team Ruby. And you're Team Briar, right? We are. Bianca, Rowan, Ivy, and Ruda. How do you know who each R is? <laughs> what a ridiculous question. It's alphabetical. Oh, uh... oh. Enough chatting. Let's tear these brats up, Bianca. Get ready for my pins and needles. Stay your whip, Ivy. Let's not be so hasty. I need our new friends to understand just how thorny their current situation is. What's with the puns? What? What are you doing here? Cleaning up the trash. Tell us who you work for, Team Briar. We work for ourselves. But in this case, we are here to stop you from causing any more harm for Bram Thornmane. Thornmane is behind this? Who'd have seen this coming? Or his companion. Ugh. You mean Lieutenant Colonel Harper. Ruby, you were right. Wait, she and Thornmane are... Oh, I feel nauseous. <laughs> All right, this is getting old. Let me just super villain explain my plan for you. Right here and now. Come on, Team Briar. Let's roll these princesses. Team Briar. We're not gonna like learn their motivation or nothing. Stop. What the fuck? Ah! It is Team Briar. Okay, yeah, I'm losing a lot of health. I don't even need to be there. Ah! Stop. Dude, I don't I don't know what this one does. She just like runs around. Oh, I knocked her down. I actually rolled her. Okay, this one, Roanne, she sucks. Roanne is actually the easiest person ever. Yeah, figured that's how I got them out. Okay, I don't know how to get the best of her, so I'm just gonna shadow clone her. Oh, okay, there that that fight a little bit more complex. Each character, I think, like countered one of the others. To be fair. 
each character was like countering one of them. I don't know how to counter the the one. I didn't know how to counter Ivy. I didn't. Rowan just fell down to literally anything. But if I dashed into the first one, if I dashed into Bianca, she fell. And if I ground pounded the the drill lady, she got knocked out from the ground. Better boss fight than all the others. Definitely. Still rolled them with Blake, though. I can't believe these kids just overpowered us. Um, undisciplined little snots. You got lucky. Get ready for round two. I'm not ready for round two. Not now. We've got other priorities. Who knows where else Team Ruby... Wait, what? Who knows where else Team Ruby here has hidden orbs they stole from Fort Arrowfell? You're kidding, right? We didn't do anything like that. Don't expect us to believe your lies. You know that Thornmane set the record straight shortly after your our encounter, right? Sorry, I'm eating. We've all been ready for your little scheming plans all along. What? Did you guys think we were literally... What? Did you guys think we wouldn't... Did, we didn't notice you literally carrying one of the orbs that you moment we first saw? The moment we first encountered you? Uh. We were investigating it for ourselves, trying to find the origin. We didn't know it was dangerous. They seem sincere. <sighs> or particularly good fakers. That's enough. Our duty as the keepers of Arrowfell is important... Is more important than anything we can accomplish here right now. Huh? Until we meet again, Team Ruby. And I'm sure we'll meet again. So these are the keepers of Arrowfell, huh? The guardians. Well, that's ominous. See, I got goosebumps. Hmm. Big talk from a team so easily beaten. I guess these those briars aren't so sharp after all. I can't believe they think we were the ones who planted the orbs. It had to be Thornman and Harper coordinating this all along. But why? Come on, it's time to get out of hey. here. You better speak to General Ironwood as soon as possible. Let's head back to Alice Academy then. I feel like a scene like that should have been animated. I feel like they animated a lot of, like, fight scenes. When it's like, this game is nothing but a fight scene. Maybe they should have animated more... You know, more, like, narrative, plot-driven things. Hmm. Sorry, hold on. Let me finish this granola bar. I don't want to be impolite. All right. Team Ruby, apologies for the unnecessary bout of danger. I'm relieved you were able to overcome whatever trap had been set for you. <laughs> yeah, I think this is endgame. I think this is the final chapter. No more trains, right? We can all agree on that? That was a rude surprise. Atlas does strive to protect our own, but it's rare we must account for such a breach of faith. I'm pleased you're all safe. Ugh. Uh, just when I consider the best to let go of my trust issues. Well, it appears you have reached the same conclusion. That caravan was set to be a trap by none other than Olive Harper. Where is she now? My fists would like to have a word with her. The lieutenant has escaped, not, but detaining her is not our highest priority. What? Why? Hmm. That's because the real threat here isn't Harper, is yes. it? Correct. The Aesops pieced together that this whole plan was secretly orchestrated by Thornmane. Who would have guessed? At this point, we literally just told us Thornmane is behind it all. And now you're like, the Aesops have deduced it. Amancio Glass, who was provided the blueprints of Arafel technology for him, produced and distributed the tech for personal profit. The most dangerous of the tech, the orbs, were smuggled to Fifestone, who we believe worked under a serious threat. Wait, why are the orbs so dangerous? I thought they were dangerous because the one guy had a semblance to put emotions into them, which is what made them dangerous. Surely the orbs in and of themselves are just like, meh. They're just like a storage device. The most dangerous attack the orbs were smuggled to Fifestone, who believe worked under a serious threat. 
only his unique semblance could power the orbs, right? The lieutenant had been spying on the Atlas military from the inside, each time our intelligence was close to a lead. She would forsake an ally in the operation to misdirect us from the truth. Meanwhile, Thornmane has grown powerful enough to amass armies of Grimm with an experimental military-grade defense. We don't know if this is an attack on the development of Amity Tower or something else entirely. However, a foe with Aerofell access should have us... However, a foe with Aerofell access should have us on the highest alert. Wait, up. Uh... Aerofell? That's the suspended military <coughs> operation. Mm -hmm. Right, my predecessors were the ones who put an end to the project for this very reason. The technology was deemed too dangerous and high risk in the wrong hands. The keepers of Aerofell were the only ones who should have had legitimate access, but their identity was taken to the grave by my predecessor. It's been, a mis it's been a mystery and a potential hole in our security that keeps Atlas Council up at night, but I don't believe anyone suspected it could be this dire. Uh. Hold on, you said the keepers of Aerofell? <laughs> Do you know something, sis? It was something Bianca said. General Ironwood, the keepers of Aerofell, our team Briar. You know, the teenage girls, I assume. Maybe they're like in their mid-twenties. How are they the keepers of Aerofell, huh? Then it's true. The unknown group of mercenaries that the Aesops were looking into truly are involved. I see. Team Ruby, I believe you already understand what to do next. You will need to find a way into Fort Aerofell to halt Thornmane's plans, whatever they may be. Uh. The Aesops suspect the entrance to be at these coordinates. Oh yeah, that looks like the Aerofell's facility. From a top-down perspective, that sure does look like the facility. The orbs are just the beginning. Since Thornman has infiltrated Fort Aerofell, there are countless weapons at his disposal. I'll call the Aesops to assist where possible, but the first time... But the first line of securing Fort Aerofell and taking down Thornman is on you, Team Ruby. <laughs> this is the kind of mission we've trained our whole lives for. Thornman has the power to harm many people. We won't let that hmm. happen. Even if it's our toughest task yet, there'll be... There's no way we'll back down now. Team Ruby is on it, General Ironwood. Let's go. Is that it? Oh, there's a boss fight. Where was the recent location? Hold on. I need to buy items. I feel like I actually do need to buy like a health item. A revive ring? Hold on. It's if I die. That's better than a health item. That's all I need. What flavor granola bar was I eating? Oats and honey. Oh, I didn't even need to go to that one guy, because this guy's here. And he sells hearts. Perfect. Bye -bye. Even better. Hey, Clover. Clover and Penny, what's going on? Salutations. We are at a secret place. Dude, look at how buff Clover is. Why is he so... He certainly was not this buff in the show. Really only arm day, to be honest. Only upper body. And Harriet? Why they made Harriet so small? God. She's kind of cute like that, but... Uh, we were able to track all of Harper's movements to somewhere in this proximity. The exact location is of the confidential Fort Aerofell has been uncertain... Has been an uncertainty for many years. However, we believe this may be the entrance. Yeah? You think this giant metal door might be the entrance? All right, I can see it. People don't usually come poking around here in the frozen tundra, after all. Also, there's a big slab that looks like a door. That's a pretty good hint. 
This gate has the most powerful magnetic field I've ever sensed, but it will not open. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I had suspected Aerofell might be involved from the moment I heard those orbs. I call, call it Aesop's intuition. As a result, Atlas Military Intelligence has been gathering data on the matter ever since, and I suspect there's a way inside. And I helped. Penny managed to locate the gates that we believe led to an underground location known as the Crystal Nexus. These Nexus gates are hidden entrances to an underground network throughout Solitas. These allow the keepers of Aerofell to sneak about various areas. Uh. Team Briar, they use these Nexus gates to travel around? Right, General Ironwood has informed us that there's a belief that Team Briar may be acting as the keepers of Aerofell. Well, I can say without their cooperation on this matter, our operations become very limited. It's imperative that Team Ruby convinces them to assist in this gambit. Everyone thinks I'm naturally charming. I'm going to do great. Now, even if Penny can hack the Nexus gate opens, the Fort Aerofell gate is not quite the same. We believe four Nexus is unique Nexus keys are required to enter Fort Aerofell. Find the keepers of Aerofell, retrieve the four keys. What? <sighs> I can open the Nexus gates. Eventually, I event what I eventually figured out that I can rapidly transmit electromagnetic interrogation pulses over a few seconds. This requires that I match the frequency first, allowing me to get those signals in. One of the signals is bound to be a correct match, and then it opens. Fort Aerofell's gate is much more significant, sophisticated. Each member of Team Briar likely uses their own Nexus gate. You'll need to retrace your steps and find them. It could be tough. No worries. I remember where they all are. I'll meet you at each one. Wow. She left before checking if we know where they are. You may want to go catch up with Penny. I'll wait for activity at Fort Aerofell's entrance. Please return when you have the Nexus keys. So what is... is okay. Are the Aesops just on, like, intel duty? They're just, like, in, like, digging through the books? We've made it this far, so we're returning with those Nexus keys, no doubt about it. Yeah, gotcha. I feel like this plot is a little ridiculous. It's a little goofy. Wasn't it, like, down here? It's, like, down here to the left. Ah. Was it down here? No, oh, this was a save point. No. Honestly, I think it'd be faster if I left and then re-entered the area. So it's not, I don't think it's down that. So what, it's further down to the right? Oops, oops. It'd be like over here and then down to the side. Yeah, I feel like with this, I mean, it's not like a whole lot of backtracking and it's not like there's a million levels. But I do feel like it'd be better. With... Oh, there's not a thing. What the heck? I feel like it'd be better with a map. It is somewhere down here. It's definitely not to the right. Okay. Never mind. Oh, uh, you're here. I just wanted to say how excited I am to be on another adventure with you. This is the first of four Nexus Gates. As I promised, I will assist you in your mission. How long are we... How are we busting in? Um, now that I know the way, it's actually quite straightforward. Allow me to demonstrate. Matching the frequency of the gate... Huh? Oh, begin transmitting a series of electromagnetic interrogation pulses at the rate of 14 seconds per second. Or something. When a match is found, the gate will respond. Let us begin.
speed running. I mean, there's no real need for me to kill every enemy that I come across anymore. I mean, yeah, if I want to, like, buy every single item, I'm gonna need some money. Well, what do you know? Penny, that was amazing! Oh, Ruby, you simply have to activate your radio transponder and record the frequency into your databank. When you have turned your communications chips to the record fre recorded frequency, you will be designated an array of... Okay, never mind. Should we head inside? It really leads to Team Briar's hi hideout. We'll need to tread carefully since we're not exactly welcomed guests. I feel like a lot of this dialogue is just like, go here, do this thing. You know, it's like... That really hurt. It doesn't feel like a lot of story dialogue, you know what I'm saying? It's more like... It's more like, just like, go here! Wait, here's another song. This is a different song. Four songs. Add it to the list. I think. I think it's different than the other ones. Oh, look at these little spider drones. Weapon actually like goes behind her. It's kind of nice. Who's useful? <laughs> I mean, Blake's already useful. I should probably stop upgrading her. Blake's like hella useful as is. Uh, ducking. What is that bullet? Okay. Going into this fight, not exactly the healthiest. Oh, wait, there we are. I didn't know save points just healed me. Okay, going into this fight, full health. Who is it? If it's Rowan, easy. I know how to counter most of them. Okay. I thought it was going to be a boss fight. If anyone, they should have made a... They should have made Weiss hella powerful in this game.
Truly, I am a Blake one trick. Hey, I know this person. Hello. Huh. Team Ruby, you've come to the Crystal Nexus within a purpose, I presume. I'm just not hostile. Huh. Bianca, I'm sorry to have entered this way. I've been observing you closely since the moment you first reached Essen, and I now believe you do not wish to disrupt what we defend. If you have resorted to drastic measures to simply reach us, then I understand this is a dire situation. Truly dire. We came here because we need your help. We need to enter Fort Aerofell. I see. As a fellow team leader, I understand the weight you carry on behalf of your team. How old is she? Is she like... 157? It took bravery to approach us here in the Crystal Nexus, and I do not take that lightly. As it so happens, the four of us have just come to an understanding. We've been deceived by the very individual who hired us as a mercenary huntress. Ah. Bram Thornmane. <laughs> Correct. With knowledge of the oath we once took as keepers of Aerofell, he swindled us into becoming cogs in his machine. I owe you an apology for doubting you. We fight the same ambition of defending the innocent population of Solitas, if not all of Remnant itself. Yes. yes. Team Ruby, I bestow this upon you, a passing of the baton, if you will, from where the keepers of Aerofell have failed. That's just a fucking, like, a literal key. If you've not yet, you'll need to reach my teammates by your own means. The, they, may, well, they may not be easily swayed. Know, however, that we all see truth now. <sighs> We're thankful for any support. With Team Ruby and Team Briar cooperating, we will put a stop to the threat of Thornmane. Hmm. I believe in you, Team Ruby. The Aerofell project was shuttered. We swore an oath to protection and keep it the ult. It's our role we have sworn to carry out in the shadows, all while keeping an active front as mercenaries for hire. Thornmane exploited our duties and used his mixed direction. Interesting. What did she say at the beginning? We were once huntresses adjacent to the former Atlas's general team of Aesops. We were once Huntresses, adjacent to the former Atlas General's team. So the what? The Before Ironwood, there was a guy. There was enough, another General, and his team of Aesops were Team Briar. And then he uh, told them to protect the thing. What, he entrusted that to what? A bunch of 12-year-olds? How old is Team Briar? How old is Team Briar to have been entrusted this duty prior to Ironwood's standing as a general? Surely that must have been a while ago. The team member, Briar member above you? Yeah, that was, uh, I don't remember her name. I don't know her name. The drill one? But I got I, I assume it's just like they all have a very centralized location where they're all placed. And I just have to... But I can't just like talk to them. There's like different... There's different entrance points. So I gotta go in this very roundabout way. This is not it. This is where I was gang. And I broke this. Here you are. It's such a pleasure to see you all again. Oh. Well, you sure got here quick. So for the second of the four nexuses. Excellent job, Blake. I praise you for counting. For your counting ability. I will now initiate the process. Yeah, same thing. Let's go. What were their names? Bianca, Roan, Ivy. I don't know. What's the last R? Who was the last R? <laughs> I guess that answers that. Alrighty. 
Let's just get the other three on board. How are these guys behind the Nexus gate? This makes no sense. Ah! Uh, I'll take this. The skill point, because what else would it be? Yeah, I mean the game is like well made. It's not like it's not like the game like I don't know. It's not like it looks cheap. Or I wouldn't say it looks cheap. It's just that like the gameplay is like fairly simple. And it's just like very like just go here and do this. And like there's not much of a story to be had. This buffoon. It's like, I don't know how to describe this game. Like, it, it's definitely not worth $30, but it's not like a poorly made game. It's just like, I don't know. It feels like it's missing a lot. Feels like a beta version. It looks nice. Has all the ruby charm, but the combat gameplay and overall feel leaves more to be desired. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's really trying to do anything. That gun guy. I genuinely feel like Blake is the only one who can, like, defend herself in this game. We can defend herself, do damage, and not take damage. Our game's a fetch quest? It's, like, always a fetch quest. Like, characters like the Aesops are just there. They don't really do anything. There's not, like, develop- There's, like, there's no, like, development to be had. Right, like, that's- that's part of, like, the- the thing about, like, the story aspect that I don't like is, like, it tells a story. But, like, not in the same way that, like, a story is meant to be told in which, like, you know, there's, like, growth or they have to do something. It's, like, it's just, like, a random... Like, a random, like, event that happened, you know? Where it's, like, oh, there was the time that, like... Team Briar, we thought they were enemies, but they were actually our friends. You know? It's not like the, this grow this game like tries to grow or like push anyone through like actual like story or nothing. What's with the at random Atlas soldiers? I guess some Atlas soldiers were are just like corrupt and on were on Olive Harper's side. So like it's uh, I guess some of like the, the people aren't always aren't just like by default on Ironwood side. For some reason they're loyal to like the lieutenant. I don't really know to be honest. It 
it's very inconsequential, like Grim Eclipse. Yeah, it's kind of like Grim Eclipse. I feel like Grim Eclipse was a little bit better. At least Grim Eclipse had, like, voice acting and stuff. Team Ruby, breaking into the Crystal Nexus. Don't think I trust you for a second. Ivy, we can explain ourselves if you just give us a chance. I've had my eye on you ever since the moment you entered through the Nexus Gate, and that's why I believe you're not here to cause any harm. Ivy, thank you for understanding. It's true, we simply ask for your assistance. We need... Hey, what did I say earlier? Don't go thinking that we're friends and asking for favors now. How can I trust you? How can I trust anyone after what Thornmane did? Ivy, that's exactly it. We too were tricked by Thornmane. He tricked everyone around him, and now we need to put a stop to his plan with full access to Fort Arrowfell. Who knows what he could be up to? Don't remind me, we blatantly failed in our duty as keepers of Arrowfell. No, this is your chance to set in motion a redemption. If you give us your Nexus key, we can enter the compound and foil Thornmane's plan. How is Thornmane supposed to get into the. into Arrowfell? Aren't we just about to open the thing for him? Alright, I've got nothing to lose at this point. Go and put an end to Thornmane, but just know that Nexus Key is no good on its own. Make sure you've talked to the rest of Team Briar. Yeah. Mm. Ugh. Thanks, Ivy. Don't get all sappy about it. And get going, alright? You got a complete madman to whip. And it's like, we don't really learn anything about Team Briar. Like, we literally have, like, we saw their semblances, but, like... Kind of. Like, we saw their semblances, but that's it. And it's like, why are they not helping? Why are we just collecting the keys? It's very, just like... Randomly gameplay-driven, you know? Like, like Grim Eclipse did have a good story. I mean, I enjoyed the story of Grim Eclipse. Not that it was like... Like, much... Not that it was deep or anything. But at least it had, like, voice acting and stuff. Or have everyone stormed the base together? Yeah, Ruby, Briar, Aesop's Penny, Winter, Crow. But instead, it's just like Team Ruby is like, yeah, we'll we'll do this. Everyone's just like, we'll, we trust you, Team Ruby. Heal. <laughs> Yeah, Team Briar should be able. Like, Team Briar knows that they were betrayed, and I guess for some reason they're not going in. You know, it's like, I don't know why Team Ruby has to be the one to go do this. Team Briar, like, we're the keepers and protectors of Aerofell. But you guys can do it, I guess. Penny? Salutations! <laughs> fancy meeting you here. Is it fancy? Thank you. It is quite a fancies indeed. Yeah. Anyway, let's do the thing. So easy. Looking so close, I believe I'm experiencing anxiety. <laughs> Penny. Getting anxiety. Yeah, I feel like this game just like doesn't. It, it doesn't do a good job at justifying like why the Aesops aren't doing anything. Like they like the Aesops are around, but like why they aren't fucking dealing with this problem or why Team Briar like Team Briar literally at the beginning of this takes out a Mega Goliath in like a split second to like and they kind of showcase that like Team Briar are more experienced than Team Ruby and a lot more capable and like they gel well as a team 
And it's like, why are they not doing anything? There's no need to wonder such a question, for I am here. As long as I'm around, I will continue to support my good friends. Nice. This game has the pieces to be better, but it doesn't. Yeah, kinda. Not, but I, I, I don't know if, if I necessarily agree with that because it's like, I, I, I just feel like this format doesn't lend well. I mean, I think anime games are like really hard to, uh, to I'm like, I don't know many like anime games that are like based off of an IP. <laughs> that are, like, really, like, well done. Like, I haven't played many of them. Like, there are probably some that do exist, but I haven't played many. Or any. So I don't know what the right format would be. Because this type of game is really just, like, gameplay-driven. It's supposed to be very... Like, it just alludes to lore and story. Like, Metroidvanias... aren't really there for the... for the large quantities of, like, exposition. So I don't know. This game is just what it is, you know? It's like, I, I don't know. Any of these guys, they're everywhere. God, Weiss is so weak. I like there was an expectation that it would be voice acting or at least more cutscenes. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in the lack of cutscenes. And I was, yeah, yeah, I was actually shocked as to the, the no voice acting as well. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a solid game, I would say. Like all things considered, like it's a relatively solid game in terms of just gameplay. I got, I got the bot. Fucking nasty ass. <laughs> like Blake sleeves. Maybe you'll be looking at Blake sleeves this entire playthrough because she is the best character in this game.
Let's get over here, you stupid thing. Yeah, every character has, uh, has abilities. Weiss's platform is just, uh, her semblance ability. And that's all I use her for, because that is all she is useful for, because she is so weak. Halt, I won't let you take another step into the crystal nexus. Seriously, don't try it. I'll be, you'll be burned to a crisp in a fraction of a second. Whoa, let's take it down a notch, yeah? We're not here to make problems. We want to work with you. And why exactly should I do something like that? Because we both have a common enemy. I can't believe Thornmane bamboozled us like that. I understand how it feels to have your trust be broken. Believe me. And we too were tricked. But now isn't the time to feel bad about it. We're here because we'd like to ask for your Nexus key. We believe that key. We believe with that key we can enter Fort Arrowfell and bring Thornmane to justice. I can't just give you the key. What makes you that? Uh, it's what makes me a keeper of Arrowfell. Besides, it's useless on its own. You know that, right? Oh, uh... That's why we kind of hoping to speak to each of you and gather the keys. You did kind of break into our hideout. But I gotta admit, your ambition is infectious. All right. Yeah, and all these <laughs> characters are just like, yeah, you guys are awesome. Uh, this will help us greatly. Thank you. If you guess the Nexus key is all that it takes Thornmane get served, I'm ready. Get into Fort Arrowfell and burn it all down. There's no room in Solotos for double crossers like Thornmane who endanger innocence. Thank you for your duty, Rowan. You are now always a keeper of Arrowfell. We're just going to carry the torch for a bit, okay? You're not so bad, Team Ruby. Let's all have a barbecue after we're done. What do you say? Oh, I forgot to talk to the other one. Nothing, I, it's some, like, the other one gave me, like, lore. Uh, nothing is quite as important as your word. Do you understand? For me, my word is my band. As keepers of Aerofell, we took an oath for Atlas military generals who aren't even around anymore. And we still honor it. Why? Well, if we don't, who will? <laughs> That's why I get so fired up when I see you guys. When I see guys like Thornmane, the currency of trust in your world. And he's a counterfeiter. Now I want to see him taken out and watch Fort Arrowfell go down in flight. Well, you're a keeper of Arrowfell. Now you want to see it burnt down? What? Kind of weird. How long? How long do you th guys think Ironwood was a general for? Final Nexus Gate. Wouldn't it be funny if the last member of Team Briar just didn't want to give us the key? No, it would not. Are you trying to jinx us again or something? Humor is good. I will now initiate the process in haste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bingo. Aww. It won't open. After all that, Ruby might have actually jinxed us. Uh, I got you. It was a joke of humor and levity. Maybe the... Uh, you may need... You may proceed to laugh now as I release the gate. That wasn't necessary. 30 or 4? How old do you guys think Team Briar is then? If you think he knew Ozpin for 30 or 40 years, or he's been in charge of Atlas for 30 or 4, how old is Team Briar, do you guys think? <laughs> what do you, What age are you, are you sitting in Team Briar? Okay, but what if we got the last Nexus key and then I was actually, yeah, I can relieve. Okay. Team Fire is centuries old. That's what I'm saying. Actual ghosts. What? Oh, 
Jesus. 30s? How old were they? They're in their 30s, maybe 40s? Jeez, god damn. Well, they age. They've aged really well. to early 30s what if ironwood okay okay let, let me phrase the question like this how old how I, I i need both the question how old do you think ironwood has been in charge of atlas and how old are team briar i need i need both of those I need both of those in one. In one uh, message. Ow. A giant mech is kind of scary. Jeez, that does a lot of damage. I always assume the Ironwood is in charge for like 40 years, but that means Team Briar is in their 60s. It's so barely like 20 years. And in their 40s. Team Briar is looking good for their 40s. Seems pretty well versed in being the lead. Maybe 20 years? Yeah, something. The math just ain't adding up with Ironwood and Team Briar. What? Ruda is her name. Tiller Root. Who's there? Yo, Team Ruby here. Whoa. Hey, relax a little. We're not your enemy. What are you doing here? <sighs> we dropped by to ask for a favor from one team of huntresses betrayed by Thornmane to another. All right. When you word it that way, I'm listening. You wouldn't happen to have a Nexus key, would you? Yeah, I have it. <sighs> Because, like, if we had that, we could waltz into Fort Arrowfell and stop the stuffing out of Thornmane. It's not really useful by itself, you know. Yep, we know. We're kind of hoping to get more from the other reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess if everyone else is okay with it. <laughs> Take the Nexus key to Thief Thornmane is stopped. His plan is egomaniacal and will put people in danger for senseless reasons. Not only that, but that jerk duped us. And it's one thing if you want to trick me. But the rest of Team Briar, they're like my sisters, okay? We've trained so much together. Our semblances are perfectly in sync. You saw how we struck that Goliath? That's because of the faith we all share in each other. 
that's why we're not fighting Thornmane. A team like ours, you don't see it every day. And I have to protect them, just like they would protect me. <sighs> Thornmane took advantage of us all. I can't let it happen. Ew, it felt good to take that off my chest. I don't usually talk so much. You have a cause worth fighting for. It's your team. That's beautiful. I feel the same way about my team here. They're like my sisters. Well, Ruby's actually my sister for real. But Blake and Weiss here, they remind me every day that team is a family. So from our one fam so from our family to yours, in the name of that sacred connection, we're gonna kick Thorn Main's butt. I'm rooting for you. Yang, it's pretty cool how you have a metal arm. Mine's metal too, actually, except mine are more like drills, which is pretty neat sometimes. Never met a can of soup I couldn't open, I'll tell you that much. Uh, when you're in the tundra of Solitas, hot soup really hits the spot, you know? Especially in the colder parts, like Essen. Essen. That reminds me of how we met Thornmane. He used to drive us mad. Just like you saw, he always... He was always shooing us away at every corner. Why? Because we were steep competition for his worthless guardians, that's why. When he offered to extend an olive branch in the name of stopping a threat to Aerofell, well, we couldn't refuse. What? Big mistake. What I was talking what was I talking about? <laughs> the point is we must celebrate our metal arms. Oh, I didn't hear what Ivy said. That is unfortunate. Well, sorry about that. Sorry about that merchant guy. Skill points. Let me buy. Actually, let me just buy some skill points. I'll buy a health potion while I'm at it. Oh, why would I buy the large potion? This is four. Oh, energy as well. Never mind. Let me buy that. Just in case Blake, for some reason, is incapable of just winning. Hey, Clover. Were you able to collect all four Nexus keys? Here you go. It seems that each member of Team Briar was, in fact, designated with a portion of access code to Fort Aerofell's security matrix. Uh. And now the keepers of Aerofell have entrusted us with the keys for some reason. Indeed, I'll use these four Nexus keys you retrieved to open Fort Aerofell, as opposed to the way Bram Thormain breached his way in. How did he breach his way? How come we can't just breach our way in? I suppose you could say this is the legitimate method of entry into the compound. It may have been a long time since these were used, but now... That we have all four, I should be able to open this door. Stand back. <sighs> Incredible, it really opened. So that's really it, huh? Our mission has finally led us to here. With the door opened, there's not a minute to delay. Somewhere inside you should find Thornmane. It's time to bring him to justice. I wish you good luck. Ooh, okay. Final battle music. <laughs> if every level... I feel like if every level had an OST, it would be... This game would be a little bit better. Or it would feel a little bit better. You know? It'd feel a little bit better each level. What the fuck is this guy?
Well, I don't know why the music stops when I when this stuff. When I go into these battles. It's just for like like bad battle music. That bullet. Not really a fan of platformers, but this one looks a little lackluster. It is a little bit lackluster, but if you're not a fan of platformers to begin with, eh, I don't know. This, this game definitely wasn't gonna like do anything for you. I like this song. I think it's kind of a vibe. It's kind of a bop. It's kind of like a good feeling thing. I don't know if it's like the appropriate uh, mood for like going into the final boss. This feels like an end credit song. I feel like Ruby needs like a Devil May Cry kind of like combat system in the game. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that way it can still have like a story and cutscenes. Yeah, if they, if they could get Platinum, if they could just license their game to Platinum or their, their IP to Platinum, yeah, it would probably be a lot better. Come on. You made it here. Hey, it's uh, Harper. You, you are responsible for nearly getting us killed. Yeah, I have half a mind to kill you, and the other half agrees. I have half a mind to sock you in the next week for that one. Uh, Hold up, Harper. Why are you in tears? Don't tell me. You're feeling remorse? Yeah, she really looks broken up about it. I gave up everything, my morals, my military career, but he lied to me. I knew my actions may forfeit my position as an officer in the Atlas military, or much worse, but I did all he asked because he said it was for the benefit of all of Atlas and Mantle, better lives for all of its people. He just needed me to help him take down Ironwood from the inside. What? what? So that's the motive here? It's not some kind of attack on Amity Tower, just General Ironwood? I trusted Bram, but instead of making things better for our kingdom, it was all for his petty revenge. There's a reason why General Ironwood didn't approve him for the Aesops. Now I see why. <sighs> Come on, you can't mean to say that you never saw that coming. Yeah, Yeah, I'm pretty sure the man has double-crossed everyone he's ever met at this point. 
I was so wrong about him. Now I see the truth. He simply used me as a pawn in his operations. Spying on General Ironwood, dealing through Amancio Glass, coordinating with Hallon, Hanlon Firestone, Fifestone. I was merely his connection to access it all. Yeah, who'd have thought dealing with the most popular mobster and like all these other shady people? Who'd have thought that was that was a, no red side, no red flags at any point? <laughs> Let's go, team. Lieutenant Harbor needs time to reflect, and we have a mission to finish. I'm getting sad even staying here. Wait, Team Ruby. There's nothing I can say to atone for what I've done, but there's a small gesture, if I may. Four skill points! I am prepared to face whatever awaits me from here. There's no one who can save me from this fate. As for you, you must defeat Thornmane. Perhaps he can be saved from himself. Dude, what if she was just lying? She just fucking lied so she could walk out. She's like, and just played them all for fools. Got him. Wow. I'm actually shocked as to how many I did not, I missed. Back to the song. Dude, and Ironwood after this was just like, yeah, he just never mentioned it. Fight that guy. You just need to shoot those guys down. Shooting me in the feet. Uh, 
Oh, good lord. Maybe I just need Yang to, like, give him the beatdown. Or maybe, uh... Ruby? Definitely not Ruby. You'd think her sniper would be more powerful. Dude, these flying enemies are so fucking stupid. Okay! Ambush! Ambush! Ambush and these stupid flying enemies! Yeah, and there's not a lot of, like, substance that fills, like, the in-between <laughs> moments. You know, it's just like, here's Ambush. Weiss is supposed to fight the flying enemies. See ya. I can't believe everyone is at the same strength level now. Ah! Stay on track. I like this song. I don't remember what the first song sounded like, but that one's pretty good. That's a vibe. <laughs> cutscene? Do I get a cutscene to start this off? Stop right there! Team Ruby, I can't believe you were actually foolish enough to march right into the lion's den. Get it? Because I'm a lion. Maybe. I think. I think he may be based on a lion. Unlike Lionheart, who was also based on a lion. I'll give you one chance to turn around from here and leave. Tempting, but we'd rather stick around and put an end to your evil plot. The only thing that will be ending if you refuse to leave is your lives. <laughs> You don't scare us. We're licensed huntresses and the best around at that. Not the best around. The Aesops? Team Briar? You're like, at baby, at best. Third. If you're being generous, third best. I feel like we have to keep reminding people about that. <sighs> what? That you're the best around? You're not. Talk is cheap. Fight us, coward. Fine. Have it your way. Bramthorn main. Ah, he's fast. Ow. Ow, fast. I should have dodged that. Should have known. No! <laughs> 
no way, man. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so fucking easy. Oh, second phase. Second phase. It's not over. <laughs> what are these balls? Break these. Easy. Oh, yeah, what? No, not the flying ones. Are you out of your mind? Okay. Uh, why are you doing this, Thornmane? What's your beef with Ironwood? Ironwood. James Ironwood will pay. I had it all. I was running for a position in the Ace Ops. After years of tireless training, I could have been a hero to the people. I could have been respected and admired for that power, but no. Instead, he told me, I'm afraid there's no fit for your semblance. Meh. Who needs a semblance, then? Who needs a semblance then? I'll show Ironwood what I'm truly capable of. What? Ironwood said- What? What is that fucking- Like, your semblance is useless. Get out of here. That's what that- What? Really? That just makes Ironwood look bad for no reason. Like, legitimate- Like, yeah, this guy looks stupid. But, like, also Ironwood turned him away for his semblance. No way, man. Uh, uh. <laughs> it was even easier than the first time. Uh. What's his semblance? What was Thornmane's semblance? Was Thornmane the one? Thornmane wasn't the one who, like, sucked up emotions. What is Thornmane's semblance? Maybe he'll tell us now. You can't beat us. Not with how strong we are. Working together. How could I have been defeated by these rookie students? Oh, come on. We just went over this. We're not rookies anymore. We are licensed huntresses. Where is Olive? Put a My bullet. Huntresses. We didn't see anyone else on the premises. Put a they bullet in his escaped. head. <laughs> Seems they've abandoned you, old friend. So, Amity Tower was never your target. I was. Your plan was to use these to provoke a grim attack on Atlas. A fiasco for which I would take the blame, and you would be welcomed back as an officer. Amongst I don't know if that's how that works. Hamlin Five Stone, your failure today only serves to cast sunlight on the corruption you created among the affluent and underprivileged alike. This is not over, James. It's only a matter of time before they see you for what you really are. So... Your first big mission is licensed huntresses. Uh, I thought it went pretty well. And this Aerofell nonsense? On the QT, sir. Good work, team. What's QT stand for? Team! <laughs> what was his semblance? Wait, what was what was Thornfell's semblance? Huh? What was his semblance? Maybe I just missed it and I forgot. Maybe he mentioned it and I just forgot. 
<laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> like, no resolution to Team Briar. We assume. I guess we just assume that Team Briar is dead. That Atlas fell on them. I guess we assume that this guy was in jail and we just never saw him and the jail died on Atlas. I assume everyone's just dead, yeah? We know how it ends. Everyone dies. Everyone who didn't get a resolution is dead. <laughs> oh, I was hoping this game would be a lot better. It, it wasn't the worst. Let me, it, it's not the worst game. I, I recently, for those of you who don't follow my Borderlands content, I played, Borderlands had a new game that released like a month ago. That was bad. That was truly horrendous. This game has like stuff going for it. This game has stuff going for it, but... Yikes. Not $30. There's just, like, nothing. There's, like, no resolution to anything. There was, there was barely a story to begin with, and there was, like, no resolution to anything. New, ta new Tales from the Borderlands is worse than this. By a mile. Not even close. Post credit? Five hours. 85%! I almost got a hundred percent completion. That is a that is a shockingly high percentage for five hours and two minutes. Wow. There's probably other stuff I could do. I mean it's probably just like collect the stuff, find the rest of the skill points. That's probably all I'm missing. Yo, Jordan, thank you for the two. Thanks for playing this so I didn't have to buy it. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Wow. What would you guys, for those of you who sat through this, honest rating. Honest rating. What would you rate this? Because it's not a bad game. It's not a badly made game. Like, the gameplay is good. The gameplay is better than Grim Eclipse. The story? I don't know about that. Like, the music is good. The art is good. Yeah, like, I think a 5 or a 6 is being, like, is fair. I, I feel like it's fairly average. Maybe, maybe a little below. I think it's, I think it hovers around the average. I can see why some people might rate it below average. I can see why people rate it a little higher. But I think like the average rating would be around average. Yeah, the Team Briar boss fight was good. That was the really the only good boss fight I would say. There's only like four or five boss fights. I gotta say, that was a little disappointing of a of a game. I was hoping for more out of it. But uh there's nothing we can do. Maybe I might make a review. I might just make like a like a small review on it talk about it. I might make like two videos or something because I got to talk about it. It's canon. It's technically canon, guys. This game is canon. Keep that in mind when just when all these characters show up again, literally out of nowhere. Or they don't. Start game. Start game is just going to let me load my old save file. And I can like, I could probably like any Metroidvania run back around through the areas collect whatever collectibles I was missing. That's really it. Yeah. But I'm a little sad this wasn't as uh I'm a little sad the story wasn't as uh prominent as I was hoping. I'm sad the Aesops didn't literally do anything. They got no more development. 
I was hoping maybe we'd see like a better side to them throughout this game where they'd be like happier and be like, you know, let the team Ruby, they go against team Briar and like, I don't know, they fail. And then like the Aesops are there to like sort of, you know, pat them on the back and be like, listen, you guys get another shot at this, you know, put them through some lows, make the Aesops sort of complimentary. But they didn't. Everyone kind of just said, wow, Team Ruby, you're really amazing. And then they just won. <laughs> it really was like the show. There was a lot of good designs. I'll be honest. There was a lot of good character designs in this game. A lot of the new characters, I really like the designs. Even like the NPCs, you know, who we just went on like fetch quests for. I like their designs. But, uh, yeah, Harper. What happened to Harper? Literally just disappeared. Not arrested. Not in any jail cell. Not in the... Not in Volume 7 at all. Literally just disappeared. Bounced. Midlife crisis. Bounced out of Atlas. Gone. Wow, this game has no resolution. This game did not have a resolution. Maybe if you got 100%, maybe there's a, like a 100% secret ending. Some games do that, where it's like collect 100% and uh, you, I don't know, there's like a different end screen, but this is like a cutscene, so I don't know. But guys, that's kind of all I've got. That's all I've got for uh, a stream. I appreciate it. And that's going to do it. I hope you all have a good night. And uh, I'll see you guys whenever I make more Ruby content. So uh, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the donations, the members. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Be on the lookout for when I review this game. <laughs> or talk about it in some way. Anyway, bye-bye. Peace out.